We playing basketball. Yo, shout out to the fam. Shout out to the YouTube fam. I just got done doing a play-by-play -play for the Phillies, but I said, yo, let me do the play-by-play -play for the Philadelphia 76ers. This is a crucial game. Can the Philadelphia 76ers beat the Cleveland Cavaliers? This is a must-win, in my opinion. We have nine games left. Come on, Sixers. Let's just keep it going. You already know the vibes. Mike Sports Vibes. If you haven't already hit that like button, consider subscribing to your bull. I do play-by-play -play for most of the Sixer games. I play-by-play -play for some of the Phillies games. And I'm also going to be doing play-by-play because -play I am a hybrid sports fan. Philly, everything besides football. No disrespect to the Eagle fans or the Steelers fans. But when it comes to football, I'm a diehard Minnesota Viking fan. You see the background. Y'all see the background. Y'all know the vibes. But uh, shout out to everybody that's rocking with your boy. You already know what it is, man. Um, Let's see. Kent, yo, 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 yo. AJ, yo, 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 yo. You already know the vibes, man. Shout out to y'all, man. Shout out to all my YouTube family. It's about to go down. We play the Cleveland Cavaliers good. Donovan Mitchell is back. This is going to be a hard game, but we're going to see what happens, man. We got to earn these dubs. Can't wait. For the Sixers to lose it. Oh, hopefully they don't get robbed. <laughs> yeah, we're going to see what happens, man. You know, everybody's so hype about Joel Embiid. I just got to see him play, bro. I'm not going to get overly hyped until the man is on the court. But when he finally gets on the court, ladies and gentlemen, when Joel Embiid, the reigning MVP, gets on the court for the Philadelphia 76ers, it's going to be lit. It's going to be lit. Let's go Sixers, baby. It's definitely going down. Shout out to everybody in the building. The rest literally admitted it's a fact. Right. And they don't get. Yeah, they 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 messed up, bro. They messed up. Um, According to ESPN, B might be back against the Thunder. I hope so. I hope so. But I, I just, I'm trying not to get too excited. You know what I mean? You know how when you get excited, it's just, I just, I just got to see it, man. I got to see it at this point to believe it. You feel me? That's all. I'm not saying that I'm doubting. I just want to see it. You feel me? That's all. That's all it is, man. I, I love my sixes. I love um, seeing Joel and me play. But I just have to see it at this point because I'm tired of talking about it because I just want to see it on the court, man. Because it's a tease to say, oh, he's going to come back. And then what if he doesn't come back that game? You know what I'm saying? What if Joel and be the reigning MVP doesn't come back that game? And then I'm going to be disappointed again. So I'm just going to wait until it happens. That's all. I'm just going to be patient with my thoughts when it comes to Joel and B coming back for the Philadelphia 76ers. And then we're going to make a run in the playoffs and beat the brakes off of the Bucks or the Celtics or whoever we play in the play-in. Doesn't really matter. Because Joel Embiid, the best player in the NBA, when healthy, y'all, when healthy, I still feel like he's the best player in the NBA. It's a debate. There is other great players like Jokic. There's other great players in the game. I understand all of that. But in my personal opinion, when healthy, he's that guy. That's just my opinion, y'all. Don't at me. Don't at me. You feel me? Do not at me. You feel me? That's just my opinion. Shout out to my bull Zoe. Shout out to everybody in the building. T.Y. is in the building. You already know the vibes, man. If y'all haven't already, hit that like button. Hit that like button. Hit that like button. You already know the vibes. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let me put this. I'm about to put the drone up right now. We about to we about to have a party. I might even, yo, I might even go live doing a, uh, doing like a, a mock draft after. I don't know what I'm doing, bro. I got to talk about some Vikings. I feel like I'm leaving the Viking people out of it. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm leaving Viking, my Viking people, my Viking family out of this, man. I got to, I got to do some, uh. I got to do some uh, Viking stuff, man. I, I mean, I feel like I'm leaving them out. But shout out to everybody that's in the building right now. I appreciate y'all. Um, uh, What's up? What's going on, Al Smith? Um, Honestly, hope. Yeah, I honestly hope y'all don't fall down to the floor. Man. We going to see, bro. He said, your Pistons better get the number one. Yeah. <laughs> if they don't get the number one pick, they just, that that'll suck. 
Hey man, if y'all have first mm, round, I'm feel sometimes. Yeah, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. We better not lose all this that we man shoot. It's like it's meant to be for the Sixers, bro. It's meant for Joel and B to come back. It's meant for us to destroy whoever we play. I got no pits. It could be anybody. I want all the smoke. See why I'm talking my talk right now. Talk that. Talk. I'm talking my talk on this live, bro. I want all the smoke. I want to be anybody. I don't care who it is. I really want to go against the Bucks, though. I ain't going to lie. I want to knock Doc Rivers out the dang on playoffs so bad. I'm not even going to lie, bro. Like, it's just something that I just want to do. Something something that I actually I, I want to. I want to knock him out the playoffs, bro. Just because. Just because he was talking trash on the squad when he left. He was talking mad trash on the squad, bro. I ain't appreciate that. So since you're talking mad trash on the squad, I want the smoke from him. Amen. If um um amen. If y'all lose in the first round, I'm sure. Yep. These are crucial. Yeah. Hey, T.Y. That's why I went live. Like, you know what's crazy? Like, <laughs> I went downstairs, like, and the house was empty. My whole family went to Graham's house. And I was like, yo, I might as well just go live. Everybody going. I'm like, I'm gonna go live right now. So I said, let me go live. And I said, yeah. And plus, this is one of the most important games. Like, every game for the rest of the season for the Sixers is important. Like, it's not even like – it's almost like a playoff game for the Sixers. Like, if we lose out – say we lose out, we're not making the playoffs. Say we get at least two or three of the wins, bro, we got a, a four or five, five wins out of nine. We got a good chance of probably sneaking into the sixth seed. I don't know. Someone got to get on a losing streak. I'm not really sure the seedings. I'm about to look at the seeding right now. But these are crucial games for the Sixers, man. We got to win. If y'all get swept, I'm learning so bad. Nah, it's not going to happen. Hey, hey, Smith. Hey, Smith, that, that's just one thing that's not going to happen. If if we have Joel Embiid, we're not getting swept by any team. Nobody's that good to sweep us. Not one team. Maybe the Nuggets, maybe, but that's the Western Conference. You know what I'm saying? Maybe the Nuggets, maybe the – who? There's nobody else that I would say can sweep the Sixers with a healthy and jo Joel Embiid. If he's healthy, nobody's sweeping us, especially the Eastern Conference. I don't want to – Bro, people don't understand how good Joel Embiid is, but we look, we're going to remind them real soon. We're going to remind the whole NBA world who Joel Embiid. I can't wait to say that again, bro. Joel Embiid with the midi midi with the three. He slam dunk. He dunked on some. Who he who he who he dunk on? He dunked on Westbrook. <laughs> Stares him down. He blocks him at the rim. Joel Embiid. Man, I can't wait, man. It's about to be lit. Shout out to shout out to my uh shout out to Chris for real. Shout out to everybody in the building. Timberwolves, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we hey 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 T Y T Y T Y. I need you to keep saying that in the chat, man. <laughs> my boy T Y said, what we doing, bro? We stand on business in this chat. We stand on business. That's the one thing we do, bro. We stand on business. What T.I. son say? He said, I stand on business. <laughs> That's not funny. He was talking back to his dad. I'm just saying. It was just funny what he said. But we stand on business. Philadelphia, we stand on business, man. Everything Philly besides football, you know what I mean? We stand on business. You already know the vibes, man. Let's get it. The Phillies lost a tough one tonight. <laughs> Phillies lost in the seventh, eighth inning. It was bad. I don't know if y'all was live with me. If you was, you witnessed it. But I got to talk my talk. Shout out to T.Y. Talk that talk. You already know the vibes. Uh, can't wait till the Timberwolves lose in the first. Why everybody saying can't wait to lose to the Timberwolves? What was going on with the Timberwolves? What happened to the Timberwolves? Oh, so we got Timberwolves fans hating on the Sixers fans. Okay, I see where it's going. I see what's, I see what's going on. I see what's going on. Damn, man. The Timberwolves really... They, who has never yeah they never want to ring you know they were so close with uh my boy kg but never got it i think make it to you know what though to keep it real with you they got a good chance this year though my boy evan the number one troll shout out everybody in the chat 
I want to say this right now. My boy Evan is the number one troll on this channel. I give him the number one spot for trolling on this channel. Do not block his comments, y'all. Let him talk his talk. As long as he's respectful, he don't he don't be saying crazy, crazy stuff. I I I, I love it. I just love it. Y'all just come at it. Y'all just come at him in the chat. Be, be respectful though. That's my homie. But Evans was the number one troll on this channel, and I love it because we invite all the smoke. Because all I got to say, Evan. You was talking all that trash to the Clippers, this and that. We beat y'all in L.A. Y'all barely beat us in Philly. And when y'all beat us in Philly, it was because of the reps didn't give us the foul call. Can I talk that talk? Y'all know the vibes. Mike Sports vibes. Let's go. Let's win. Let's beat the Cavs. Let's get on a winning streak. You already know the vibes, man. But my boy Evan, what's up, man? How you doing this one on this wonderful Friday night? It's night now. It's dust dark at, over here in the East Coast. But I don't know how it is in the West Coast or wherever y'all at. Uh, hopefully, I'm not really sure who's from who's from PA, who's from Philly, who's from wherever. But we welcome all fan bases from all places. You feel me? You could be from the moon. You could be from Jupiter. You could be from Pluto. You could be from anywhere. B Venus, the moon, anywhere. Anywhere you're from, join the live and talk that talk with me and the guys in the chat. Because we all YouTube family at the end of the day, even though we go against each other, it is what it is. It's all love at the end of the day. It's all love at the end of the day. We got Kelly Uber Jr., Tobias Harris, Mobama, Kyle Lowry, and Tyrese Maxey, Max Struz, Evan Mobley, Jared Allen, Donovan Mitchell, and Darius Garland for the Cavs. Let's get it, man. We about to, we about to, we about to have a party. We're about to have a party. Shout out to everybody in the chat right now, man. It's definitely going down. I'm just thinking to myself, I'm thinking of a master plan, y'all. I'm thinking of a master plan. How can the Sixers get on a crazy winning streak before the end of the season? How can, and you know what the common denominator is, and I hate to bring this up, it's Really, to keep it real, we need we need we need Joel and B back. That's that's number one, right? But number two, I need Mobamba to play good in the beginning, like he's been. I need um Paul Reed to step his game up big time. Tobias, no comments. We, we know the vibes with that. Kyle Lowry got to give us more than what he gave us last game, please. Cameron Payne, maybe get him some more minutes. What else? Who am I missing? Kelly Oubre Jr. Keep doing what you're doing. Tyrese Maxey, keep doing what you're doing. Nick Nurse. Make sure the lineups, the rotations is on point. Call the timeout at the right times. And maybe try to play Ricky Council. Maybe try to play Ricky Council just a little bit more than you have been. But other than that, I'm loving what I'm seeing from the from the coaching. I'm loving what I'm seeing from the Sixers. The Sixers are doing a thing. It's about to go down. Shout out to everybody in the building. Um, and, uh, oh, okay. Evan's from Hawaii. Uh, oh, hey, <laughs> I was going to say Hawaii. Yeah, that's my boy Evan right there. He the number one troll on the, on the channel, and I, and I appreciate him. I appreciate all the love from him. Like I love it. I love it. Um, I think y'all gonna be a playing team with forty two. Nah, it's not gonna happen, bro. Hey, Al Smith, man. I, I don't know what, what what type time you on right now because I know you a Viking fan of Timberwolves. Man, I don't know what type time you on, bro. But but bro, that's not gonna happen, bro. <laughs> you know that's not gonna happen. All right, the game just started. Y'all y'all tripping. Hold on, man. I didn't even get my stuff. I didn't even get really ready. I didn't even really get ready. I didn't get my book out. But let's go. Cavs with the ball. Oh, turnover. Turnover early. Let's go. Tyrese Max, hold on. Put the scoreboard up. Hold on. Put the scoreboard up. Oh, man. Ooh, missed it. Come on, y'all. Come on. Come on, man. Zero, zero. Let's get it. Let's get it. Looking for my. We playing basketball. Y'all know that song. Y'all know that song. We playing. All right, good defense by the Sixers. Come on, let's go, Kyle Lowry with the ball. Let's go Sixers. Let's go Sixers, man. We doing it big right now. I don't care what nobody says. Let's go. We went. We making the playoffs. We went in the NBA Finals. I don't care. Let's go, Kyle Lowry. He gets fouled going to the free throw line for two. He went for the midi midi. He got fouled. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We ain't playing no games. We ain't playing no games. Let's go. Kyle Larry, I, I called him out last game, y'all. I called him out last game. I said, yo, he got to step his game on. Shout out to the chat. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button. Hit that like button. Hit that like button. You already know the whole vibes. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Made the first free throw. Made the first free throw. 
Let's keep it going, though. Sound check, sound check, sound check. Made the first free throw. All right, that sounds good. All right. All right, let's get it, y'all. How's everybody doing? My boy said Cavs. That's my boy Evan in the building. Shout out to my boy Evan, man. <laughs> Teacher got games in the building as well. Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's go. Let's go. Garland with the ball. Oh, man, this is crazy. What you want to do? Mitchell, man. It's, it's different seeing Mitchell in the lineup. He's been hurt for a minute, man. Like, what's – I'm happy I'm happy to see him, though. I ain't going to lie. I'm happy to see Donovan Mitchell finally come back. Now, I mean, I want full competition. You know what I'm saying? What my boy said, what am I putting it? Yeah, I got two, bro. I got two, bro. Donovan Mitchell gives a nice bounce pass to Jared Allen. Jared Allen gives it to Max. True. Oh, come on, bro. How you going to give it to Max? Not Maxie, but Max. How you going to give it to Max and give that nice, nice pass for an easy layup? All right, let's go. Kyle Lowry with the ball gives it to Kelly Oubre Jr. Kelly Oubre Jr. gives it to Tyrese Maxey. Tyrese Maxey being guarded by Garland. Come on, let's go. Let's go, Tyrese. He gets a screen by Mo Bamba. Bounce pass, steals the ball. Come on, bro. Garland with the easy finger roll layup. Four to two. Four to two. Let's go. All right. Let's get it. Let's go. Tyrese Maxey with the ball. Driving. Gives it to Tobias for a three. Come on, Toby. Yeah, Toby, put the threes in the chat, P-P. Put the threes in the chat. Five to four, y'all. Five to four. Five to four, y'all. Donovan Mitchell gets it to Max for a three, and he misses it. Rebound by Kelly Oubre Jr. Kelly Oubre Jr. with the ball. What you going to do with it, bro? Oh, Sasha's dribble. Gives it to Mobama. Mobama face the three. Gives it to Kelly Oubre Jr. He gets a screen by Mobama. Kelly Oubre Jr. does a little floater uh, floater midi. Missed it. Rebound by Mobley. Come on. Let's go. Max with the ball. Gives it to Garland for a corner three. And he makes it look easy. Nothing but net. It is seven to five. Two point game. Nine minutes and 27 seconds left in the game. My bull Tobias back to back threes. And he makes it, baby. Put the threes in the chat, PP. Let's go. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Eight to seven. Stop playing with me. Let's feel the energy. Joel and B's about to be back. When Joel and B comes back, it's a wrap. When Joel and B comes back, it's a wrap. Hold on. He get fouled too? Oh, snap. Talk that. Talk. You already know the vibes. Nine to seven. Let's freaking go, baby. Let's freaking go. Nine to seven. Tobias with seven points early. You already know the vibes, though. Let's go. Let's go. Jared Allen gets it. Yep, gives it them. What you want to do? Oh, Donovan Mitchell gives it to Jared Allen. Slam dunk. That was too easy. Nice setup by Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell looking like Robin or Batman right there. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, he must have had a broken nose or something. Let's go. Tobias Harris with the ball gives it to Kelly Oubre Jr. Then he gives it right back to Tobias. He's being guarded by Jared Allen. He's driving. He's driving. Step back. Oh, nope. Doesn't shoot the mid. He gives it to Mobama. Mobama with the ball. He gives it to Kelly Oubre Jr. Kelly Oubre Jr. gets it in the screen by Mobama, but he doesn't use it for some strange reason. He goes up hard in the paint, gets fouled, or it goes out of bounds. So it's not a foul. It's out of bounds. Let's go. But I'm happy to see Donovan Mitchell play. Like, all jokes aside, like, I, it, it's like, dang, every time I go against the Cavs, he's either hurt or he's just, come on, man. Let's go. Oh, Tyrese Maxey with the midi. Missed it. Rebound by Donovan Mitchell. Nine to nine. Eight minutes and 37 seconds left in the first quarter. It's about to go down. Donovan Mitchell gets a screen by Jerry Allen. Shoots a three. Misses it in and out. Rebound by Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry with the ball. Observing the court. Passes to Tyrese Maxey. Tyrese Maxey shoots the three from outer space. Misses it. Rebound by Jerry Allen. Gets it to Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell gets it to Garland. Garland driving right past Kyle Lowry, but he loses his footing and falls. And there's going to be a defensive foul on Kyle Lowry. Gosh, eight minutes and 18 seconds left in the first. Shout out to the chat. If you haven't already, hit that like button, hit that like button, hit that like button. Consider subscribing to your bull. I do play by play for most of the six or games. This season is definitely going down. You already know the players is going to be lit. The playoffs are going to be lit, bro. I'm just keeping it wrong. I'm letting y'all know it's going to be lit. I do play by play for some of the Phillies games. If you're from if you're from PA, you're a Phillies fan. I'm everything Philly besides football, football. I'm a Viking fan. Let's get it. Garland loses the ball. The ball got slapped out of his hand. Good defense, but it's still going to remain Cavaliers' ball. I'm not sure who slapped the ball out. I think it was Kyle Lowry. Yeah, Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry's playing a lot better. 
I think the energy is different now because of Joel Embiid. I really do. I feel like this team play is playing a lot better defensively, be, way better now. Um, I think they know the vibes. The, the vibes is different. Garland with the ball gets it to Donovan Mitchell for another three, and he makes it nothing but net. Wow. Let's go. Kyle Lowry with the ball. Come on. Let's get it, man. Let's stop playing games with these dudes, man. Stop playing games with these dudes. 12 to 9, 7 minutes and 55 seconds left in the first quarter. Kelly Oubre Jr. with the ball, being guarded by Donovan Mitchell. Take him. Shoots the midi over top of him. Misses it. Rebound by Mobley. He gives it to Garland. Garland with the ball. Gets a screen by Jer Allen. Shoots a three. Misses it terribly. Rebound by Kelly Oubre Jr. Kelly Oubre Jr. with the ball. Let's go. He's driving to the lane. Driving to the basket. Easy layup, but he misses it. Gosh, I guess it's not an easy layup. He missed it. 12 to 9. 7 minutes and 27 seconds. Donovan Mitchell gets it to Garland. Garland gets a touch pass to Jared Allen, but he misses the bunny layup. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, y'all. <laughs> I just thought that was funny. Let's go. Tyrese Massey going between his legs, gives it to Kelly Uber Jr. He gives it to Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry gives it to Tobias Harris. Tobias Harris looking around, shoots the three. To Toby misses, goes out of bounds on Mobley's. It's still sixer ball with 14 seconds left on the shot clock. Yo, that was funny. I ain't going to lie. That was some funny stuff right there. Uh, it's not uh, It's not Thunder. It's in B. Come yeah, you already know the vibes. Put. Put the threes in the chat. Yeah. Put if the twins do make it. Nah, we winning that, bro. Hey, Al, we if we play y'all, we're beating y'all. I'm just letting y'all know. Just letting you know, bro. You already know the vibes. Max Struess with the ball. He gives it to Donovan Mitchell. He fakes the three. He's driving, does a spin move on Kyle Lowry. Shoots a midi. Oh, my gosh. That was nasty. How did he do that? Gosh, Lee. All right. All right. All right. Donovan Mitchell. Don't, don't be doing all that, bro. Hey, 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 don't be doing all that, bro. We ain't doing none of that, Donovan Mitchell. Stop the cap. Paul Reed gives it to Kyle Lowry. He's driving to the lane. Oh, he loses the ball, but it goes out of bounds on the Cavs. It's still Sixer ball. There will be a full timeout by the Cavaliers. Shout out to everybody that's in the chat. If, like I said, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button, hit that like button, hit that like button. Consider subscribing to your boy. I do play by play for most of the Sixer games this season. It's definitely going down. Philly, everything besides football, play by play for some of the Phillies games, for the Sixer games, and some of the Viking games when the Viking season starts. I'm trying to figure out that this whole thing. I gotta figure out what the purchase so I can watch these games so it can be on time because it's definitely going down when the football season starts. But other than that, shout out to the vibe. Shout out to everybody that's in the building right now. I truly appreciate each and every one of y'all. It's definitely going down. It's definitely, definitely going down. What y'all talking about in the chat? What y'all talking about in the chat, man? Let me let me catch up in the chat. I got a let's go Sixers. You already know the vibes. Chris Farrell in the building. Evan, 76ers, more like 70. Oh, man. He said 70 stinkers. Oh, stop the cap. Stop the cap. Hey, bro. What up, Mike? Yo, shout out to my bull Scolding. Shout out to my bull Scolding. You already know the vibes, man. Salute to my bull Scolding. I said we lose in, in seven, but the problem is y'all don't have pitching, though. So that might be the problem for y'all. Hey, can I keep it real with you? It's not even our starting pitching, though. It's our um, it's our relief pitching, though. Our relief pitching, I witnessed it today, bro. I witnessed it today, bro. I'm not saying no names. I'm not saying no names because it's going to make me mad. Matter of fact, I am going to say some names. So I'm going to give you a couple of names that jacked us up from the floor for the Phillies today. We gave up like nine runs in two innings. Now, think about that. That's bad. So it started with Matt. He jacked us up from the floor up. And then after that, my guy, uh, uh, Jose um, Alvarado, he jacked us up. And uh, Connor Brogdon, he jacked us up. It was absolutely like they should have just kept my ball in the game. Jeff Hoffman. And we would have been all right, probably. But it, it, it is what it is, man. We're going to get it together. Shout out to Ron's opinion. Don't matter. Your opinion does matter. Shout out to my guy. Shout out to everybody in the building. Y'all already know the vibes, man. Shout out to y'all. But yeah, man. Yeah, man. It's been an entertaining uh, day, man. I'm, I'm hoping that the Philadelphia 76 can make me happy and get this dub. Make me happy and get this dub for your bull, man. For real. We got to get this dub, man. 
not starting off the best. I'm gonna keep it real with you because you know Donovan Mitchell is doing a little bit too much right now. I'm not liking what he's doing. I'm a, I'm a big fan of him. I like him, but he doing too much. He doing too much right now, man. I ain't liking what I'm seeing from Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell, I don't know. Kyle Lowry gives it to Tobias Harris. Tobias Harris gets it to Tyrese Maxey. Tyrese Maxey five in the shot clock. Four, three. Come on, shoot it, Tyrese. Step back three. Misses it. Rebound by Donovan Mitchell. Damn. Donovan Mitchell with the ball. Being guarded by Tobias. He does a bounce pass. Oh, the Mobley. Mobley gives it right back to Donovan Mitchell. He fakes the midi. He passes to Jerry Allen. And then there's a turnover. There's a turnover. Travel. Good. I need that. I need that. I need them travels and turnovers by the Cavs. Like keep, let's keep it going, man. Let's keep it going. I have to change all the sentences with that because it's real hard. Yeah, we're gonna see. Let's go. Tyrese makes it with the ball, gives it to Tobias Harris, gives it to Paul Reed. Paul Reed looking around, observing the court. Let's go. Step. Oh, I thought he was going to do a step back midi. Bounce past the Tyrese. Almost turned the ball over. Paul Reed. Oh, my gosh. And he actually does turn the ball over. Try to get the Nicholas with two. And Donovan Mitchell dunks the ball. Come on, Paul Reed. Gosh. Lee, bro. 16 to 9. 16 to 9 early. Still early. But the, the Cavs is playing with a lot of energy. We have points off of turnovers. They got four so far. So we got to do better. Got to take care of the ball. Tyrese Maxey gets it to Tobias Harris. He's been guarded by Mobley. He's backing down Mobley. Oh, no, he's not. He's going to take – oh, he's going between his legs, trying to cross him up, driving right past him, driving right past him. Does a reverse layup off the backboard. In, in. Good job by Tobias Harris to take Mobley off the dribble and get that basket. 16 to 11, five minutes and nine seconds left in the first quarter. Let's go. Bounce pass to Max. Oh, a steal by Paul Reed on Jared Allen. Good job. On the defense by Paul Reed, Tyrese Maxey with the ball. Step back three in his face. It makes it look easy. Put the threes in the chat. Shout out to my bull Malik Savage. My bull Malik. Donovan Mitchell gets hot over. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to keep it real. He gets hot, but he gets cold too. The one thing about Donovan Mitchell, it's very hard to stop him when he gets hot. But when he's cold, he's cold. But the problem is... We got, a, we got we got some commercial coming on. Oh oh oh! But yeah um yeah, it gets a little it gets a little it gets a little spooky when Donovan Mitchell starts really doing his thing. You feel me? But hopefully you know what I mean that doesn't happen. So y'all give up nine runs to us. Y'all gonna regret. Every picture. Yeah, we ain't worried about none of that, bro. Hey hey Al, when we play y'all. Make sure you jump on the live. When you're, you're a Twins fan, so make sure you jump on the live because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to make sure um, I go live for the Twins and Phillies when they finally do play each other. We're going to see what happens. I just think like our relief pitcher just, just didn't come through this game, but it's just the first game of the season. We ain't worried about that. Hopefully, they do better next game. Yeah, put the threes in the chat. He said, no. <laughs> a, dang, Evan. But, yeah, shout out to everybody that's in the building, man. I truly appreciate each and every one of y'all. If y'all haven't already, make sure you hit that like button, hit that like button, hit that like button. It's definitely going down. It's definitely going down. Definitely going down. It's definitely going down. All right. So I have to change. But, yeah, man, this is, a, this, is this game is close. We got it. We, you know what I mean? It's going it's, to it's a game of runs. They made a little 7-0 run, but we said, nah, bro. We said, nah, Cavs, you're not going to keep doing that. 16 to 14. 16 to 14, we came back, two-point game. We got four minutes and 55 seconds left in the first quarter. We about to break. We about to do the dang on thing. We about to win this game. This is a crucial game for the Sixers. We ain't worrying about what y'all got going on. We worrying about what we got going on. We got to win this game. Let's go Sixers, man. All the Sixers in, in the building, we standing on business. Everybody that's in the, in the building, if you're a Sixer fan, we stand on business. We stand on business. Let's get it, man. We go out to win this game. I don't care what nobody says. We winning this game, bro. We're going to win this game. I got a bad feeling that. One two. Nah, they're not going to do that, Al. I highly doubt it. Not in the first round. No. No way. Not in the first round, bro. All right. But, yeah, man, it's definitely going down. Let me close this window real quick. Hold on real quick, y'all.
had to, I had to, I had to close that blind real quick. Max, oh, nice finish. And one. I don't like that. I came back and they, he does a little and one on my boy Buddy Hill. Buddy Hill needs to get hot from three. He needs to do his thing from three. There's no way that Buddy Hill should be struggling the way he's struggling in the last few games. He got to really get it together this game. We need him in the worst way, man. We need all the scoring we can get, man. All right, he made the and one. So it is 19 to 14, five point game. Five, five point game. Let's get it, y'all. Let's get it. Four minutes and 44 seconds left in the first. Paul Reed with the ball gives it to, oh, my gosh, he turns the. Yo, what is up with these passes this game? What is going on? Paul Reed being guard guarding Mobley. Mobley gives it to Niang. Niang, ooh, gives it to Mobley. Mobley gives it to Max. Max, what you going to do? Almost loses the ball, gives it to, oh, a three by Niang, and he missed it terribly. I'm not sure if he got blocked. No, he didn't get blocked. No, no, bro. Niang, stop with the cat, bro. See, see, that's that. Nah, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bruh. Let me see. He nah, bro. He ain't touched that. Oh, he did touch it. He did touch. He tipped it a little bit. He ain't talking trash, man. He ain't talking trash right now. I'm not liking it. All right, let's get it. 19 to 14, four minutes and 23 seconds left in the first quarter. Seven minutes on the shot. Not seven minutes. Seven seconds on the shot clock. It's definitely going down. Let's see what we're going to do. First quarter, bro. First quarter. Let's get this dub. Let's get this dub. Sam is coming in the game for the Cavs. And um, Okoro is in the game for the Cavs as well. In the end, let's go. Oh, Garland with the ball puts up a midi midi over top of Nicholas Batuni, misses it, but we get the defensive rebound. Let's go, let's go. Tobias Harris with the ball being guarded by Niang. Come on, take him, take him. Tobias, oh my gosh, bro, that's the person you want to take. Shoots the three by Tyrese Max. We get the offensive rebound put back by Buddy Hill. Let's go. That's a gold 10 in a foul. They count that jump. That's a gold 10 in a foul. Or no, how, does that make sense? Does that make sense? I think that's how you, you would call that, right? Yeah, because it's a foul, but then it was Golden as well. Yeah, it was. Golden in the foul. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Shout out to everybody that's in the building. Shout out to Collins. Appreciate you, bro. Let's go. Let's go. And he makes the free throw. So it's 17 to 19. Four minutes and eight seconds left in the first quarter. Garland with the ball. What are you going to do with it, brother, man? What are you going to do with it? He stops the dribble, gives it to Niang. Niang gives it to Sam. Sam gives it right back to Garland. Garland being guarded by Paul Reed. The switch up. Oh, Sam gives it to Niang. Niang driving past Buddy Hill. He puts up a layup, and he makes it. Okay. Okay, Niang. Okay, Niang. Think he got game? Let's go. Tyrese Maxey with the ball. He gives it to Buddy Hill. Buddy Hill. Driving on, ooh, ooh, on Mobley with a three. He misses it. Oh, gosh. Oh, it goes in, but it bounced off the backboard 50 times, and it goes in. Ain't that something? If that would have counted, that would have been awesome. But, you know, stuff like that don't count. But three minutes and 32 seconds left in the first quarter, 21 to 17. Oh, my God. I'm oh, no, no. I ain't buying no dang appeals. <laughs> <laughs> you funny, bro. Let's go. Garland with the ball. Gives it to Sam. Sam with the ball. Stops his dribble. What you going to do with it, bro? He traveled. Good. Good. Turnover by the Cavs. Going right back to the Sixers. 21-17. to 17, Three minutes and 16 seconds left in the first quarter. And the Philadelphia Center Sixers are doing their thing. Let's go, Sixers. Let's get this dub, baby. Three turnovers for the Sixers and four turnovers by the Cleveland Cavaliers. Tobias Harris with the ball. Let's go, Toby. Come on, Toby. Show him something. Gives it to Buddy Hill. Buddy Hill gives it to Tyrese Maxey. Tyrese Maxey gets a screen by Paul Reed. Let's go. Let's go. Tyrese Maxey being guarded by Garland. What you going to do with it, Tyrese? Shoots the little midi midi from the free throw line. Missed it, but the offensive rebound by part. Oh, no, he didn't get the rebound. My bad. Jared Allen with the ball gives it to Sam. Sam with the ball. Passes it to Jared Allen. Jared Allen gives it to Garland. Garland going hard in the paint, but he gets blocked by Paul Reed. Woo! He gets blocked by Paul Reed. Paul Reed stared him down just a tiny bit. Blocked the crap out of him, too. What do you think you going to do, bruh? What you think you was going to do, bruh? 
block Garland at the rim. Oh, then they give a nice inbound pass to Niang, and he gets the dang layup. Is that an and one, or is that a foul on the floor? Hold on, I'm trying to figure out what the what the deal is with that. Hold on, no, that's not a. Hold on, what? Oh, they're reviewing it. They're reviewing it. Oh, come on, bro. Y'all gotta y'all gotta go by what your gut feeling is, bro. Like if it's an and one, it's an and one. Is what it is. Joshua goes seventy. Yes, go Joshua. Shout out to you. Shout out to you. Shout out to you. Shout out to you, George, and can get hot from three. Yeah, George can get hot from three, but I highly doubt it, bro. I highly doubt it this game. It ain't happening, bro. It, it, the Sixers are destined to do something. I, I just have a feeling, bro. Maybe I'm just too optimistic for my own dang on good, but I just feel like something is brewing in the Philadelphia 76er fan base. We're about to do something. The Philadelphia 76ers are about to do something. We about to shock the world. I don't know who we playing in the first round after the play-in. It don't even matter, bro. We about to shock the world. The energy will be different. It's going to be a lot different when Joel Embiid's in the game. I'm just saying, bro. I'm trying to get y'all ready and get y'all hype and get y'all like, yo, I'm trying to tell you. It's going to be a lot different. This team is going to look a whole lot different. Just one player. So what are they doing? They're reviewing the and one. Does it count? What are they like? What are they reviewing? Mike, where are you? Nah, bro. I was so happy. Hey, t-shirt got game. I want a first cousin to be out. That's not my that my that's not my quarterback no more. I mean, so I can say I can say it now. He ain't my quarterback no more. So I'm happy. I ain't trying to hate. I'm not hating. I'm just stating. I want a young quarterback on a rookie deal so we can build the rest of this roster. Out. I'm cool on Kirky, Kirko, Kirko cousin, um, first cousin, Captain Kirk. I was happy to see him go for $180 million, $100 million guaranteed, one and four record in the playoffs. Nah, bruh. I'm cool. Sam with the ball. He, what's he going to do? Starts to dribble, shoots to three in Paul Reed's face, misses it, rebound by Kelly Oubre Jr. He gets it to Tyrese Massey. Let's go, Sixers. Let's go. Let's go, sisters. Let's go. Tyrese Maxey with the ball being guarded by Garland. He gets a screen by Nicholas Batum. Let's go. What you going to do with it, bro? He driving to the lane, driving to the lane, driving to the lane, puts it up off the backboard, and he gets it, PP. Let's go, Tyrese Maxey. Garland with the ball. 21 and 19, two minutes and 19 seconds left in the first quarter. Nian gives it to Sam. Sam gives it to a bounce pass to Okura, driving to the lane and tries to dunk and misses it. That is a bad play for him. Kelly Oubre Jr., he shows them how it's done and dumps it with two hands. Oh, let's go, Sixers and the, the Cleveland Cavaliers. We tied up, baby. 21 to 21, two minutes and four seconds left in the first quarter. It's definitely going down. Okoro thought he was going to slam it and yam it all in there and all in their face, but it didn't happen. It didn't happen. Y'all see me. You, you see the vibes, though. You see the vibes. Let's go. Garland with the ball, gives it to Jerry Allen, does a spin move, gives it to a wide open Okoro for three, and he misses it. <laughs> Let's go, Sixers. Let's go, Tyrese Maxey with the ball. Being guarded by Kuro. Let's go. Let's go. Isaac ain't about nothing. Let's go. Cross him up. Gets a screen by. Oh, Nicholas Batoon. The double team comes. He gives it to Nicholas Batoon. Nicholas Batoon driving. Gives it to a wide open Paul Reed, but he doesn't shoot the three. Driving to the lane. Going hard in the paint. Over Jared Allen. Let's go. Jared Allen's too small. Let's go. 23 to 21. The Philadelphia 76ers are doing a thing. Garland with the ball, being guarded by Nicholas Batoon. He gets a screen by Jared Allen. Shoots. Nope, he doesn't shoot the middle. He gets it to Niang. Niang driving to the lane. Bounce pass to Jared Allen. Jared Allen gets the ball stolen by Buddy Hill. Buddy Hill on a fast break, baby. He's driving on Garland off the backboard. Misses it. The putback from Nicholas Batoon. Misses it, but he puts it back up. And he gets it in. 25 to 21. One minute left in the first quarter. The Philadelphia 76ers are playing extant, outstanding. Let's go. Garland driving. He's driving, fixed the midi, gives it to a wide open Sam for three, and he makes it. Gosh, Lee, it's 24 to 25, 50 seconds left in the first quarter. Let's go Sixers, baby. You already know the vibes. Let's go. Tyrese Maxey with the ball. He's driving to the lane, stops his dribble, gives it to Buddy Hill. Buddy Hill going between his legs, trying to cross up Sam. 
He's driving or get kick. He gives it to Paul Reed. Paul Reed puts it up off the backboard and he gets it. Oh no, he doesn't get it in. Doesn't get it in. Rebound by Garland. Garland with 23 seconds left on the shot clock. Let's go, baby. This is a good game. 25 to 24. Garland with the ball. Let's see what happens, y'all. Jared Allen gives gets a uh gives a screen. Garland gives it to Sam for another three, and he makes it and he gets fouled. Wow. That's crazy. That's crazy. Back to back threes for the Cavs. Back to back threes for the Cavs. Let's go, man. Let's go, Sixers, man. You already know the vibes, man. Shout out to my bull. Shout out to my bull right there. Shout out to everybody that's in the building right now. I truly appreciate each and every one of y'all. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the like button, hit the like button, hit the like button. Yeah, that's an and one. So he can potentially get a four point play. So you make it a three point game. We got 8.8 .8 seconds left in the first. So even if he makes it, we can get the ball back. We can hit a three and tie it up to make it 28 to 28 going in the half, I mean, going into the second quarter. I mean, all right. So he made it. So it's 28 to 25. Tyrese Maxey with the ball. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Being guarded by Isaiah. Oh, he's crossing up. There's a foul they had to give. 4.1 second left in the first quarter. Sixer ball. Shout out to Gary. Shout out to Gary. Shout out to Gary. How you doing? How you doing, brother? Chris for real, Joshua. Everybody that's in the building, I truly appreciate y'all, man. I truly appreciate y'all. I just did the play-by-play -play for the fighting fields, doing the play-by-play -play for the Sixers. Man, tomorrow, depending on how everything goes, we're going to be talking about some Vikes tomorrow. Let's go, Tyrese Max. Oh, he gets blocked by Mobley at the rim. Goshly. Mobley has some good defense right there. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to hate. 28 to 25, end of the first quarter. The Cavs are beating us by three, but it was a good first quarter by both teams. Shout out to the Philadelphia 76ers for going against one of the best teams in the Eastern Conference and holding their own without their best player. Now, all I got to say, and I'm going to just keep saying it, when Joel Embiid comes back, the vibes will be different for everybody, including the opposing team, because they're going to know what they're going to be facing. And they're going to be facing the reigning MVP, the player that is debatably the best player in the game, maybe top two, top three, if you want to, I mean, because you could do, everybody, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. I think he's definitely top three player in this NBA right now when he's healthy. Before he got hurt, the man was averaging 35 points a game. Before he got hurt, he was averaging 12 rebounds a game. Before he got hurt, he was averaging five or six assists a game. Before he was, before he got hurt, he was holding it down on the defensive side of the ball, altering shots, not even just the blocks that he was get. He will alter shots because, because, because he's that guy. You know what I mean? So, so just the presence, the extra getting the team and the other the opponent in foul trouble because you can't guard him. So you got to foul him. When you can't guard someone, you got to foul him. There's just so many different aspects that he brings to the game that I cannot wait to see. And this, and I'm trying not to get too excited because I, the, the rumors, he might come back sooner than we think, or he might come soon. He might come uh, against the thunder. I don't know. I'm not going to get my hopes up until I see it. Until I see, until I see Joel Embiid will be starting against this team. Boom. I'm like, okay. But until then, until I get a Zach date, a Zach game, I'm not. I'm, I'm trying to just hold my my emotions in because I know it's gonna be different. It's gonna be different for the Sixers. Uh, did you install? Uh, let's go, Tim. Let's go, T Wolves. What he said? Let's go, T Wolves. All right. <sighs> uh, seeing Darnold, seeing. No, no, no. Malik, don't speak that. Hey, Malik, don't speak that into existence, bro. I do not. No disrespect to Sam Darnold. Like, I think Sam Darnold might be a good quarterback. I, I, I'm cool. I'm cool, bro. I want to see my rookie, bro. Y'all don't trade up. Yo, we better. Yes, yes. Interception kick. Yeah, you said it, Malik. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. You know what we can do? We could trade Sam Darnold for Jalen Hurts. Straight up. We get your guy, you get Sam Darnold. And we be good. We'll give you a first round pick too. So we'll give you a first round pick, Sam Darnold. Y'all can, y'all can, uh, we can switch. We can do that. New York Knicks are, New York Knicks are built to, no, they're, bro, they're not going to be, they're not going to be to stop Joel with Joel other than dumb nobody. 
I don't think they go. I don't think anybody can, bro. I'm keeping it real. Only person that can stop Joel is Joel to keep it real. I'm just, I'm, I'm just saying. When he gets in that mindset, you can't stop him. Tobias here trying to, uh, trying to cross up Jared Allen. He gets it to Nicholas Batoon. He shoots the three from deep, misses it, rebound by the Cavs. Come on, man. Let's go. Oh, that's oh, that's Morris. That's my guy, man. I feel some type of way he's playing for the Cavs right now, bro. I was like, who's 24? Let's go. Oh, Cameron Payne gives it to Obama for an easy setup, easy layup. Good job. 27 to 28. 11 minutes and 16 seconds left in the second quarter. Shout out to the chat. Shout out to my people. Shout out to the fam. Let's go. Jared Allen with the ball. Let's go. Put the alarm on real quick. Oh, nice little. Oh, Jared Allen got a little bit of touch on that little floater. Nice little touch on that floater. I respect it. I respect it. Let's go. Ain't about nothing. Ain't about nothing. Let's go. Cameron Payne with the ball gets the screen by Mobama. He gives it to Mobama. Mobama does a spin move, and then he gets the easy layup. Good job. Good job. Jared Allen, good job, bro. I'm loving it, man. I'm loving what I'm seeing, bro. Let's go. Let's go. What you going to do, bro? What you going to do with it? All right, he, Garland gives it to Sam. Sam shoots another three, and he makes... Yo, can somebody put a hand in his face, bro? The man hit three threes. That means put a hand in his face. I'm getting tired of him making threes on us, bro. I'm getting tired of it. Kelly Oubre Jr. with the ball. Let's go. Gives it to Cameron Payne. Cameron Payne's looking around, observing the court. What you going to do with it, bro? What you going to do with it, bro? Dribble. Do something. He dribbling. He driving right past Sam. Puts up a... A nasty lap. Ooh. <laughs> Let's go, Cameron Payne. He's asking for the and one. 31-33, two-point game. Garland going for an easy layup off the bapper over Nicholas Batum. Nicholas Batum, you got to play better defense than that. Or it needs to be better help defense. But it is what it is. 35-31, to 31, nine minutes and 49 seconds left in the second quarter. Let's go, Sixers, baby. We holding our own. I'm, I'm cool. Keep it closer to the fourth. Let's go. Cameron Payne with the ball being guarded by, Cam by Garland. Garland gives it to Kelly. I mean, um. Cameron gives it to Kelly. Kelly gives it right back to Cameron. Cameron gives it right back to Kelly. He's he's driving on Sam. He's driving on Sam. And there's a foul. Or is it a three? Is it a five-second violation? Like, what is it? It's a foul? All right, they're showing this replay. But I love Cameron Payne on, on this team, man. I don't care what nobody says, bro. I miss D'Anthony Mountain too, but I don't know. Cameron Payne's doing his thing. Cameron Payne with the ball, trying to cross up Garland. He passes it to a Tobias Harris for a midi midi, and he makes it look easy. Shout out to Tobias Harris. Shout out to Tobias Harris. Garland with the ball gives it to Niang for a three, and he misses it. Get the rebound, Marcus Morris with the rebound gives it to Niang for a corner three, and he makes it. What the? What? Hey, bruh. Hey, bro, and there's a timeout. Hey, bro, full timeout by the season. Hey, bro, I'm going to say this right now. We're not going to let former Sixer players out-hustle us, bro. We're not going to let them get offensive rebounds and then kick it out to a corner three and have Niang hit a three in our face. Nothing but net. We're not going to let Marcus Morris get an offensive rebound and then give it to Niang for a wide-open three from the corner. We're not – let me say it one more time. We're not going to let former Sixers – out hustle us, get offensive rebounds, kick it out to a, a wide open Niang for a corner three. Can I talk my talk? Talk that talk. I only got no soundboard, so I just do it. You know what I mean? But shout out to y'all, man. I appreciate y'all, but we're not going to let that happen no more. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it no more for the rest of this game. Get this dang on defensive rebounds. Box out, box out, box out. Shout out to Gary. By oh, hold on, hold on. Kelly got to stop. Hold on. Kelly got to stop fouling. Even yeah, yeah, yeah. Last game, New York Knicks. Yeah. Phone going off. Um. Hold on, let me twist this. Board. Hold on, y'all. My bad. Phone call. But what was I saying? All right. So, New York Knicks are built to stop. Um, Vi's got to share this last night. Vi's got to share this last <laughs> Make best pizza. Man, shoot. You already know the Vi's with that. Let's go. Kelly Oubre or D'Anthony Melton is better. 
Uh oh, Kelly Oubre all day. <laughs> yeah, Kelly Oubre all day. Like, <laughs> um, they're two different positions though. But if I had to choose one or the other, um, I'm Kelly. I'm, I'm gonna choose Kelly over him. I like De'Anthony Melton. I think he brings defense aside. He brings a de- he brings defense, but his 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 offense is not consistent enough for me. And my boy AJ made a good point about that. Like that's one thing that really held us back in last year's playoffs, man, against the Celtics. Like he was missing so many threes, man. If he would have hit a couple of those threes, we would have won. But shout out to everybody that's in the building right now. I appreciate each and every one of you. I really do. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the like button, hit the like button, hit the like button. Consider subscribing to your bull. I do play-by-play for most of the Sixer games. I'm doing play-by-play for the Phillies games. Some of them, not all 160, some because I got a family. And I'm doing play-by-play. I'm trying my hardest to do play-by-play for the Vikings as well because I am a hybrid sports fan from PA, Philly, everything besides football. No disrespect to the uh, the Eagles or the Steelers, but I'm, I just don't rock with them like, like that. You feel me? You know what I mean? But let's get it, man. Cameron Payne with the ball, 38 to 33. We have to do better with the rebounding. Please, y'all, please don't let that happen again. Nicholas Batum with the ball. Oh, a nice pass to Kelly Oubre Jr. Goes hard in the paint, misses it, but he gets his own rebound, puts it back, he misses again. He tries to slam the ball. He's frustrated because he thought he got fouled. Oh, man, Marcus Morris sets up an alley-oop for Mobley. He misses it. Let's go. Cameron Payne gives a nice pass to Kelly Oubre Jr. He gives it the offensive foul. Gosh, Ugh. that sucks. That really sucks. All right, 38 to 33, eight minutes and 35 seconds left in the second quarter. The Philadelphia 76ers are down by five. Shout out to Chris Real. Shout out to Gary. Shout out to Malik. Shout out to AJ. Shout out to Evan. Shout out to everybody in the freaking building, man. I truly appreciate y'all rocking with your boy. You already know the vibes, man. We're doing it big over here. And I'm going to say this right now. It's about to get more lit as the season goes on. We got nine games left. Bro, it's about to be lit. Playoffs is about to be lit. The NFL draft, 2024 NFL draft is about to be lit. Baseball is about to be lit. It's about to be lit, bro. I'm going to try to bring y'all as much content as I possibly can. You know, I got a family. So if I do miss a couple of games, my bad. But it, it, yeah, family comes first before anything. But it is. But other than that, y'all, I just want to say I appreciate each and every one of y'all. I really do. Let's go. Garland with the ball. Let's go. He gives it a bounce pass, but it's out of bounds. So it's going to remain. Um, Cavs ball. Niang, I, I I like Niang, man, but his defense is suspect. So if I was anybody on the Sixers, and when Niang is guarding you, take him. Unless the double team is coming, take him to the rack. Break him down off the dribble. Go get you a bucket. Like for real, he ain't that good on defense. Let's go. Mobley with the ball. He's being guarded by Paul Reed. He's driving on him. He kicks it to New York for another three. If he makes another three. Hey, Malik. Hey, Malik. I think you you set you you set us up, bro. You said he can get high from three, bro. You you set us up, bro. Hey, Malik, I'm calling you out on this live, bro. Because he was not hot last time from three. Now he's hitting threes. Kyle Lowry with the ball. He hits a three. Let's freaking go, baby. 36 to 41. He ain't hit like two, three threes this game. Sam hit three or four threes this game, bro. Donovan Mitchell with the ball. He gives it to Mobley. Mobley gives it to Max. Max is driving on Paul Reed. Layup off the backboard. Misses it. Oh, he makes it. My bad. Dang. Cameron Payne with the ball. 43, 36, seven minutes and 37 seconds left in the second quarter. Cameron Payne gets a screen by Paul Reed. He stops his dribble. Gives it to Tobias Harris. Tobias Harris driving to the rack. He gives it to Paul Reed in the mud. He goes hard in the paint. Shorty, what you think? And one. Let's go, Paul Reed. Let's go. I'm about, I'm getting hype, y'all. I am hype. Y'all probably like, how is Mike hype right now? I'm going to tell you why. Because I'm excited about my teams, bro. I'm excited about our teams. I'm excited about what's going on for all my te- The teams that I cover on this channel, I'm excited for each and every one of them in different ways. You know what I mean? Like Sixers, we about to be in the playoffs, hopefully. Uh, the Vikes, you know, we about to go into the NBA, uh, not NFL draft, and we about to get our quarterback, you know, and our defensive tackle. And what else? What else? What else? What else? Phillies, we, we start off kind of iffy with the relief pitching, but we're going to be all right. You feel me? Let's go. Max with the ball gives it to... Marcus Morris. Marcus Morris gives it to 
Mobley. Mobley gives it to Donovan Mitchell. He shoots the three, misses it bad, but there's a foul. Hold on. Like, oh, by the way, Ricky Council's in the game. Just want to let y'all know that. Ricky Council finally gets some minutes. So I like that. Shout out to everybody that's in the chat right now. Donovan Mitchell bounced past the max. Gives it to a wide open Niang again for three. He misses it finally, but there is an offensive foul on Max. He pushed down my bull, Kyle Lowry. So there is an offensive foul. The game is closed, baby. 43 to 39. 43 to 39. Seven minutes and 13 seconds left in the second quarter. Tyrese Maxey with the ball. He's looking for a screen from Tobias. Toby, Toby. Oh, man. Let's go. He gives it to Toby. Toby's looking around, observing the court, going between his legs, trying to cross up Marcus Morris. He's bringing him out. He's about to cross him up off the drill. Break him down, Tobias. Going between his legs. Oh, he passes it to a wide open Ricky Council. And he makes it, baby. Corner three, baby. Put the threes in the chat. Put the threes in the chat. Let's go. Donovan Mitchell with the ball. Let's go. Bounce pass to Mobley. Mobley gives it to another Niang three, and Niang hits another three. Oh, my goodness. Can I get some oh, my goodness, oh, my gosh in the chat? Can I get some oh, my gosh in the chat? This is out of control. Niang hit like four threes already. Let's go. Tobias has breaking down Niang off the dribble. He's going hard in the paint. Shorty, what you think? But uh, he misses it. He misses it, though. Niang with the ball, passes it to Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell with the ball. Donovan Mitchell passes to Niang. Niang gives a touch pass to Max. Max is driving to the lane, gives it to Mobley. Mobley puts it up hard in the paint. Show him what you think, but he gets fouled. Going to the free throw line for two, and he will shoot the two free throws. Yo, first of all, I'm going to say this right now. I don't want to see Niang make another three this rest of this game, bro. How many threes has he made this game? Hey, this is a close. Yeah, this is a close game. I love close games. Shout out to Chris Kylie. I think that's yeah, Kylie. Uh hit the like button. Yes. Hit the like button. Let's go. Let's go. Um, Kelly injuries hand. Plus, he missed too many dunks doing it. Yeah, I feel you though, Malik. Yeah, he missed, he missed two dunks, bro. But shout out to the chat. Shout out to the people. Shout out to the family. You're in little vibes, man. We're doing it big out here. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button, hit that like button, hit that like button. And consider subscribing to your bull play by play for most of the Sixer games this season. Philly fans, we're doing some play by play and we're doing Viking stuff. You already know Viking uh games too. Let's go. Tyrese Maxey gives it to oh, what's he doing? He's driving on Max. Oh, he loses the ball. Good defense, but he's he's frustrated. He feels like he got fouled. But Tyrese, man, you got to keep your cool, bro. I understand. I understand, bro. 50 to 42, eight point game. He's still complaining to the refs. Sorry, right, Tyrese. Let's go. Get your head in the game. We got this. It's still close. Let's, let's just get back. Let's get back into it. Let's go. 50 to 42. Gets a screen by Tobias. Double team's coming. Oh, he's driving on Max. Gives it to Tobias for a wide open three. And he make. oh, my gosh. Tobias Harris from three, baby. Put the threes in the chat. Donovan Mitchell cross ooh, to Marcus Morris for three. Misses it. Good. Kyle Lowry with the ball, five-point game, 45 to 50. Let's go. Tyrese Maxey driving to the lane, spin move, bounce pass to Paul Reed. Paul Reed gives it to Tobias Harris for another three. He misses it. Oh, come on. Mobley with the ball. Mobley with the rebound. Being guarded by Ricky Council. Does a spin move on, on Ricky Council. Gives it to Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell gives it to Max. Max is driving to the lane. Floater missed it terribly. Rebound by Tobias Harris. Four minutes and 48 seconds left in the second quarter. Let's go. Tobias Harris driving to the lane, driving to the lane, shoots up midi, 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 and one, baby. Let's go. Count it and a foul. Count it and a foul. Tobias Harris. Oh, but they ain't going to count it. That better count. Oh, no. Y'all not going to do that. Y'all not going to say negative three to the chat. <laughs> Y'all are going to say negative three in the chat. That's crazy. Y'all going to really hit hit me with the negative three in the chat. Negative three in the chat. Let's go, Paul. It wasn't an N1. My bad, y'all. Tyrese Maxey with the ball. Being guard. Double team. He kicks it out to Ricky Council. Ricky Council going hard in the paint. Reverse layup. Gets blocked, but he gets fouled going to the line for two. Good take by Ricky Council. I'm happy that he's being aggressive. We need players to be aggressive going to the rim and, and applying that pressure. You know what I mean? We have to apply that pressure to these players. We got to get them in foul trouble. We have to do it consistently enough. We have to. 
Stop playing games, man. That looked like a block, though. I ain't going to lie. That looked like a block. There was a technical foul right there. That looked like a block. I ain't going to lie. I'm mad at him in the arm, though. Free throw. Tyrese misses the. Oh, my gosh. The technical foul. Come on, Tyrese. Four minutes and 36 seconds left in the second quarter. 45 to 50. Max with the technical foul. Let's go. Shout out to the people. Shout out to the people. I'm on scolding. Don't do it, though. Don't don't join. Don't join Evan. Do not join Evan. He the number one troll in the comments on this channel. That's my guy, though. Evan's my guy, but don't know. No. Evan, you're tripping, bro. Your Clippers ain't about nothing, bro. Your Clippers ain't about nothing, bro. Y'all lost to a team without Joel Embiid at home. You almost lost to a team. You, you beat us by a point, bro. I know wins a win, but y'all not that good, bro. Your team is not that good. What if George Nene dropped it? Yo, bro, I'll be so mad, bro. I'll be so mad if he dropped a 50, 30 piece nugget on us. Donovan Mitchell with the ball. Being guarded by Ricky Council. He's a screen by Jerry. Oh, almost a steal. Almost a steal. Marcus Moore regains control of the ball. Max with the ball. Seven on shot clock. Six, set, five, four, three, two. Isaac shoots a three, misses it. Get the rebound, Kyle. Kyle Lowry with the rebound. Let's go. Let's go. He gets fouled. Four-point game, and we're in the bonus, so we're going to the free throw line for two. Yo, for real. Fans would be mad. No trade. Bryce Harper and Mike, I started. He said, I started the negative threes. <laughs> No, we gotta put the we gotta what I say put the threes in the chat. Y'all y'all always put the negative threes. Now nah, we're not gonna do the negative three. We're gonna do put the threes in the chat. Shout out to the people in the building. Shout out to the people in the building. I appreciate y'all. We playing basketball. We playing basketball. All right, let's go. Forty-seven to fifty-four minutes and eight seconds left in the second quarter. My boy Evan's the top troll in the channel. Shout out to my boy Evan, though. We're going to go against the Clippers again. Y'all not going to get out the West. Y'all not even going to get close out the West. Y'all going to probably lose the first round with three stars on your team. Three stars on your team, you're going to get knocked out the first round in the West. Let's go. Donovan Mitchell with the ball. What's he going to do with it? What's he going to do with it? He's, oh, he's driving past Ricky Council. He gives it up to Isaac. He's driving on Tyrese. He puts it up. Oh, no, he gives it to Jared Jackson. And there is a, what is that, a travel or what the heck? What, what just happened? A turnover. Maybe maybe that was a travel. But shout out to everybody that's in the building, man. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. If y'all haven't already, make sure you hit that like button. Hit that like button. I got 11 uh, people in the building, but I only got like eight likes. If y'all can hit that like button, I truly appreciate it. It's free. It won't, ca it won't cost you anything. It might cost you a calorie, though. One calorie, it might cost you if you hit that like button. But shout out to the Vod. Shout out to the people in the building, man. You already know the Vods. Paul Reed with the ball. He gives it to Tyrese Maxey. Tyrese Maxey gets the screen by Paul Reed. Tyrese Maxey driving to the lane. Puts it up off the backboard. Oh, no, he doesn't. It goes, it goes in and out. Rebound by. Oh. Hold on now. So that was a late call. And I, and I, and I feel like this. I feel like this. I say it on the other side. I'm going to say it on this side as well. So, so at the end of the day, right, when the foul happens, the refs have to call it. Don't call it like sec, like three seconds later. Call it when it happens. Well, he thought it was all ball. He did hit him on the, on the hand, though. He hit him on the arm. That was a foul, bro. Like, what is y'all talking about? What is you talking about, bro? Makes the free throw. 49 to 50, 49 to 50 Cavaliers, 49 to 50 Cavaliers. Shout out to the people. Can I get some final score predictions in the chat? Final scores predictions in the, ch in the chat. Let's go. All right, we tied the game up 50 to 50. Paul Reed with the bucket. Let's go. Let's go. Let oh, what the heck? 
a foul. So what are they in the are we in the penalty? All right, come on. Oh no, we're not in the penalty. They're gonna take they're gonna inbound the ball. All right, let's go. 50 to 50, three minutes and 22 seconds left in the second quarter. Donovan Mitchell is going to inbound the ball to Jared Allen. Jared Allen being guarded by Paul Reed. Let's go. Gives it to Max. Oh, bounce pass to Jared. Gives it to Niang for a three, but no, he doesn't shoot. He shoots a floater and he makes it. What? All right, Niang. All right, bro. All right, Niang. I, I know we, I know we the Sixers and you you mad that you, you feel sorry that you left, but bro, stop the cap. Let's go. Ricky Council. Let's go. Let's go. Tyrese Maxey driving. Let's go. He gives it to Ricky Council. Ricky Council gives it to Buddy Hill. Buddy Hill looking. Ooh. Gives it to a wide open Tyrese. Five on the shotgun. Four, three, two. Shoots a fadeaway midi. Misses it. But we get the offensive rebound. Buddy Hill with the offensive rebound. He's driving on Max Drews. Oh my gosh. There's too much passing. He could have just went up with it. I understand. It's still our ball. It's out of bounds or is it a foul? But there's too much passing there. Just go hard to the paint, bro. Go hard in the paint. Cavs, go. If you challenge, call it always gets overturned. I hope I hope that's the case with the Sixers every time. I'll tell you that. But yeah, man, this this is a game that's very close, man. We 52 to 50. We about to be in the second half, and we just getting warmed up. We just getting started. You feel me? We just getting started. But yeah, man, it's definitely getting it's definitely going down. But yeah, so my observation so far in the second half, the, like we just have to um first of all take care of the ball. That's number one, right? Got to limit the turnovers, and we got to rebound, obviously. And in my opinion, I just feel like I feel like we're starting to settle for threes a little bit too much now. I, I know we have some three point shooters on this team, but I would like for us to just keep to be a little bit more be a little bit more aggressive. You know what I mean? That's Evan, man. <laughs> But yeah. All right, let's get it, man. Shout out to the shout out to the shout out to the people in the building rocking with your boy on this play by play. We're gonna see what happens, man. Like a lot of a lot of uh a lot of a lot of uh mystery with the Sixers, man. We don't know what's gonna happen, man. This is this this is a crucial game for us, man. We can definitely get this dub, man. We gotta earn it though. We gotta take it. Excuse me. We got to take it. We can't. You can't come in here thinking it's sweet, and we not. We playing a good game, but we got to take it from the Cavs. The Cavs ain't about nothing. We can beat the Cavs. The Cavs are not going to be a contender. They're not going to win the East. No way. They don't have it. There's something missing. I don't know what it is about the Cavs, but there is something missing. I always felt like that. They need. To, I don't know if it's because Donovan Mitchell's that has a. He's got that dog, and I don't know what it is. There's just something missing about the Cavs, man. Or is it just the Sixers play the Cavs really good? I don't know what it is. But we seem to play the Cavs the best out of all the good teams in the East. We play the Cavs the best, hands down. All right, let's get it. Nicholas between inbound in the ball. He gives it to Paul Reed. Paul Reed shoots a wide open three and he makes it. Oh my gosh. Put the threes in the chat. I put four. My bad. Put a three in the chat. <laughs> Let's go. Garland with the ball. Two minutes and 24 seconds left in the second quarter. Jared Allen with the ball being guarded by Paul Reed. He gives it to Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell gives a pass to Jared Allen for an easy slam dunk. Nice setup by Donovan Mitchell. Let's go. 54 to 53, two minutes, 10 seconds left in the second. Let's go. We on a seesaw, 54 to 53 Cavs. Let's go. Tyrese Maxey with the ball. Going to break down Niang. Oh, no, no, no. Losing his handle. He's driving on Niang. Niang, oh, 
uh, almost gets the bucket, but ne- but Nicholas Batum gets the offensive rebound, gets it to Tobias. Tobias misses the three. Rebound by Garland. Garland gives it to Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell gives it to Garland. Garland with the ball. Being guarded by Tyrese. Tyrese gives it to Jared Allen. Jared Allen gives it to Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell shoots a three from outer space and misses it. Rebound by Paul Reed. Paul Reed gives it to Buddy Hill. Buddy Hill is looking around. He's going to give it to Tyrese. Gives it to Tyrese. Tyrese Maxey gets a, a screen by Paul Reed. Gives it to Buddy Hill. Buddy Hill gives it right back to Tyrese Maxey. Tyrese Maxey looking around, observing the court. About to get double teamed. Nope, he's crossing them up. He's driving to the lane. Gives it a nice pass to Paul Reed. And Paul Reed goes hard in the paint and gets fouled. Going to the free throw line for two. Nice setup by Tyrese Maxey. 54 to 53. One minute and 12 seconds left in the second quarter. Shout out to each and every one of y'all that's in the building. Shout out to Chris for real. Shout out to Evan. Shout out to, even though Evan is my top troll, uh, Malik Savage. Shout out to you. You said, George, better not single him. Yeah, I know. Let Mitchell go. Nah, we don't want Mitchell to go off. Heck no. Mm-mm. I take my chance with Niang. I know Niang ain't going to keep doing this. Let's go. Says Chris, uh, rounds of opinion don't matter. Shout out to you. Shout out to you. Paul Reed makes the three uh three point play. So now we have the lead 55 to 54, one minute and 12 seconds left in the second quarter. The Philadelphia 76ers are holding their own against one of the best teams in the Eastern Conference. It's one minute and seven seconds left in the second. Let's go. Niang with the ball. What you gonna do with it? Niang gives it to Jared Allen. Jared Allen gives it to Garland. Garland with the ball, gives it to a Niang wide open three, and he misses it finally, but we let them get the offensive rebound, and they get it back. Oh, my gosh, bro. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. When we give up those offensive rebounds, it's just – dang. It's like box out, box out. He makes the three point play. It is 57 to 55, two point game with 50 seconds left in the first half. Let's go, Sixers. Let's go. Tyrese Maxey with the ball. 12 on the shot clock. 11, 10. Gets the screen, passes it to Tobias. Six, five. Come on, Tobias. Break him off the dribble. Break him off the dribble. Shoot the midi over top of him, and he misses it. Oh, man. All right, 57 to 55. 23 seconds left in the second quarter. Donovan Mitchell with the ball, observing the court and calling out a play. There's Nicholas Batoon on him. 10, 9, 8, 5, 4. He puts up a floater, misses it. Tyrese Maxey with the ball. 3, 2, 1. Tyrese from outer space. Oh, he misses it. That was a good attempt. The Sixers are losing the first half, 57 to 55. Great game so far. Great game so far by the Philadelphia 76ers. And B's face looks. Let's go. You already know. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Sixers. Rounds opinion. Sixers, Chris for real. Yes, let's go. Yes, yeah, Sixers are only losing by two points. It ain't about nothing. Going into halftime, but shout out to everybody in the building. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button, hit that like button, hit that like button. It's definitely, definitely going down. Um, and consider subscribing to your bull play by play for most of the six or games this season. Philly, everything besides football. Let's get let me see what give you a little halftime thing, real quick. And then I'm gonna go get me something to drink, real quick. All right, so look, we're gonna go player stats automatic. So we're going to start with Ty, uh, Tobias Harris is leading the team with 14 points. That's what we need. He is absolutely playing wonderful this game. So shout out to Tyrese Maxey, 14 points, two assists, and four rebounds. Uh, Paul Reed is, is doing wonderful as well, 12 points and four rebounds. That's pretty good. Cal Lowry doing excellent, seven points, one assist, and three rebounds. Tyrese Maxey, five points, two assists. Uh, we need to do a little bit better on the offensive side of the ball for Tyrese Mobamba. Four points, one rebound in seven minutes. Nicholas Batum in 16 minutes has two points, three assists, and four rebounds. 
Uh, Buddy Hill has three points, one assist, and three rebounds. Ricky Council has four points in five minutes. Karen Payne has two points and three assists in five minutes. But let me get to the um, – what's up, what's up with the Cavs? The Cavs, Niang has 13 points. Crazy. Sam has 10 points. Max Struess has seven. Donovan Mitchell has nine. Jared Allen has nine. Garland has seven. So, all right. So, I mean, we, we're doing all right. Um, I think we need to do better when it comes to rebounding. Like, I always say that every game, but it's so true. Sixers have to do better when it comes to rebounding the ball on the defensive side of the ball. All right, let's see. But, yeah, that's all I got for the first half. Um, I'll be right back, y'all. Shout out to each and every one of y'all that's in the building right now. I truly appreciate each and every one of y'all. It's about to go down. Y'all already know the vibes, man. Be right back. Be right back. Be right back. Put it in the chat real quick.
Yeah, my bad, y'all. My bad, my bad, my bad. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Let's go. Mobama with the ball. I already hit a three, too, by the way. Let's go. Kelly Oubre Jr. shoots the three. Misses it. Rebound by Jared Allen. Ooh, nice pass to Max. Ooh, we can't be doing that. We cannot be doing that. Come on now. Come on now. Let's go. 62 to 58. 10 minutes and 11 seconds left in the third quarter. Kelly Uber Jr. driving on Max. Puts up the shot and he gets it. Good shot. Off the backboard. 60 to 62. 10 minutes left in the third quarter. Passes to Garland. Garland with the ball. What's he going to do? Oh, nice pass to Jared Allen, but he misses it. Rebound by Tobias Harris. Tobias Harris with the ball. Let's go. Come on, Toby. Come on, Toby. On Mobley. Gives it to Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry driving to the lane on Max. Ooh, what you going to do with him? What you going to do, Kyle? Gives it to Tobias. Tobias fakes the three. Now on the shot clock. Gives it to Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry gives it to Tyrese. Tyrese looking around. Driving on Mobley. Gives it to Tobias for a corner three. And he makes it, baby. Put the threes. Hit a check. Put the threes. Hit a check. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Oh, nice setup. Easy bucket for Jared Allen. 64 to 63. We on a see we on a seesaw right now. We're on a seesaw right now. Let's go. Bounce past the Obama. Obama gives it to Tobias. Tobias Harris with the ball. 15 on the shot clock. Nine minutes in, in the third. He gives it to Mobama. Mobama fakes the three. He gives it to Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry loses the ball, but it goes to Tobias. Five on the shot clock. Come on, Toby. Come on, Toby. And then you just shoot it up. Shoot it up. Put it up. Shoot it. He shoots up the midi, misses it. What the? What was that? All right, let's go. Donovan Mitchell with the ball. Let's go. Ooh, gives it to Garland. Garland gets a screen by Jared Allen. What's she going to do with it? Gives it to Mobley for three. Hmm. Makes it. 67 to 63, four-point game. Six minutes, not six minutes, eight minutes and 25 seconds left in the third. Tyrese Maxey gets it to Mobama. Mobama wide open for three. Misses it. Rebound by Mobley. Mobley gives it to Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell with the ball. Bounce pass to Max for three in rhythm for three, and he makes it look easy. It's 70 to 63, seven-point game, eight minutes and 10 seconds left in the third quarter, and the Cavs are hot from three right now. Goodness gracious. Ryan Rose, shout out to you, T.Y., shout out to you. All right, Evan, see you tomorrow, bro. Shout out to everybody that's in the building, building Joshua. Everybody that's in the building right now, I appreciate each and every one of y'all that's rocking with your boy. You already know the vibes. Let's get it, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. All right. All right, let's see what we're going to do. We are we're in it, though, man. We just got to – we got to do – we have to have better perimeter defense. We have to bring more intensity on both sides of the court, but especially stopping them threes, man. I don't know how many threes – let me just see how many threes they made this game because this is getting out of control with all these dang on threes, man. Like, how many threes? I'm I'm curious how much they made, like by, from three. Um, so I'm trying to see. All right. All right. Today, box score. All right. So. Why is it showing up on my phone? But I know for a fact the Cavs made. I don't even know how many they made. I know they made a few, a lot, more than I'm more for my too many, too many for my liking. I'm not liking it at all. But yeah, it's crazy. Come on, Sixers. Let's get it. Got to get on this winning streak, man. We got to get on a winning streak now. Let 
but we shall see what happens y'all how's everybody doing today on this wonderful friday night hope y'all having a good day as you know every day's a good day when you wake up in the morning you know what i'm saying so just putting that out there but let's see let's see like um let's see what we can do we, we down by seven early in the third we definitely can win. China, you know, the Cavs are the fourth C, 44 and 29. We're the eighth C, 39 and 34. You know what I mean? We China, we got to get on a winning streak now. It's as simple as that. Tobias Harris has 17 points, six of 14 from the field. The Cavs, their highest score is Niang with 13 points, 5 of 8 from the field. Tobias Harris also has 5 rebounds. Um, yeah. Tyrese Maxey's leading the team in assists with 3. So, let's go Sixers, man. All right, let's go. Kyle Lowry with the ball. Let's get it, man. Let's get it. What you going to do with it, Kyle? He's observing the court. What you going to do? He gives it to Mo Bamba. Mo Bamba gives it to Tyrese Maxey. Tyrese Maxey gets a screen by Mo Bamba. What you going to do with it, Tyrese? Double team's coming. Yeah, what you going to do? He's driving past Garland. Gives it to a wide open Kyle Lowry for a corner three, and he makes it look easy. Put the threes in the chat, baby. Put the threes in the chat. Gosh, Lee. And they turned the ball over. Let's go. Let's go, perimeter defense and close. Yes, facts, Ryan. Facts. Let's go. Tobias Harris gets it to Kelly Oubre Jr. Being guarded by Donovan Mitchell. Take him. Take him. We got the size advantage. Oh, dang. He gets it to Tobias. Tobias with the ball. He gives it to Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry, seven on shot clock, six, five. Nice pass to Toby. Toby gives it to wide open Kelly Oubre Jr. Oh, dang. 69, 69 to 73. Let's go. Mobley with the ball gives it to Max. Max gives it to Donovan Mitchell for a three. Misses it. Rebound by Mobama. Gives it to Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry with the ball. Six minutes and 17 seconds left in the third quarter. Let's go. Tyrese Maxi, Maxi fakes the three. Driving on Mobley. Going hard in the pink shorty. What you think? And he gets the bucket off the backboard. Hard shot by Tyrese. But you know he makes those. That's Tyrese Maxi right there. 71 to 73. Two point game. Let's go. Jared Allen. Ooh, loses the ball. Gets fouled. Good game. Good game so far, man. This is this is a close game. We've been having a lot of we've been having a lot of close games lately. A lot. Which is good. I like that. So right now. From three, the Cavaliers are shooting 47.8 from three, 11 of 23. We're shooting good from three as well, 10 of 25, 40%. So both teams are shooting excellent from three. But it just it, it just affects me more because I'm a Sixer fan and I see Cavs make it. I'm just like, yo, how many threes did they really make? So they made 11 so far this game. We're out-rebounding the Cavs as well, 27 rebounds to 24 rebounds. We have 10 offensive rebounds. We are very aggressive on the boards, on the, but we got to get our defensive rebounds more than not. We, we gave up only two offensive rebounds so far, but so they're playing really good. They're playing excellent. Um, blocks, we got two blocks. We got five steals. Turnovers, we're not doing too bad with turnovers. We got only five turnovers to the Cavs. They have nine turnovers so far. So we're playing actually pretty darn good. I'm surprised we're not winning. It's just the field goal percentage. We're not hitting our shots. We're shooting 39.3% from the field. From The field. The Cavs are shooting 54.9. That's the reason why we're losing. It's not because anything else. It was just We're just struggling to make buckets consistently. So we need Tyrese Maxey to get it together. But other than that, yo, we should definitely win this game. We're very... We're we can definitely win this game. You know what I mean? But shout out to everybody that's in the building. If you haven't already hit the like button, hit the like button, hit the like button. Consider subscribing to your bull. 
I do play by play for most of the Sixer games this season. Philly, everything besides football. I'm gonna be doing play by play for some of the Phillies games. I'm and when it comes to football, I'm not an Eagle fan or still a fan. No disrespect to them, but I'm but I am a diehard Minnesota Viking fan. So I will be doing some play by play for them as well. Hybrid sports fan, Mike Sports vibes. You already know the vibes. Let's go. Shout out to everybody that's in the building right now. I truly appreciate you. It's definitely going down. But this is a this is a good game. We're we're playing excellent. And we just got to keep it up. We got to play better perimeter defense, definitely, when it comes to stopping that three. That's another thing. Like, we got to we gotta definitely, like my bull Ryan Rose said, he said perimeter defense on closeouts and more shooting to stop the Cavs run. Right. The perimeter defense has to be better on closeouts. We have to. We have to do better and put a hand in their face. There's no reason why Niang should have like four threes this game. And uh with the bull, what's the other bull's name that got a lot of uh points? Sam Morrow, number five. There's no reason why he should have like four four threes as well. So yeah they're calling a foul. Looks like that's all ball but then he hit him slightly on like I don't know, man. They call everything a foul, so I don't I don't know if that's a foul or not. But shout out to everybody that's in the building right now. I truly appreciate y'all. Y'all already know the vibes. It's Friday night, man. It's time to party. You already know the vibes. Let's go. Let's go. 73 to 71, six minutes exactly in the third quarter. Let's go, Sixers. Let's go. Mobley with the ball. He gives it to Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell being guarded by Buddy Hill. Buddy Hill gives it to Jared Allen, and there will be a foul. Or it's just out of bounds. It's just out of bounds. My bad. Out of bounds. Not a foul. I need a couple of threes from Buddy Hill, man. I need I need a couple of threes from Buddy Hill. I really do. I need something. Give me something, bro. Give me something. Let's go. Jared Allen with the ball. What's he going to do? He gives it to Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell driving, driving. Puts it up, but he misses it terribly. Gosh, Lee. Good defense by the Sixers, man. Good defense by the Sixers. The Sixers defense, yo, I got to give it to him, man. Nick Nurse made this team on the defensive side of the ball really good. Y'all lucky we don't have DeMar. I know, right? On the Bulls. Yeah, let's go. Oh, nice bounce pass. Nicholas Batum, corner three. Oh, put the threes in the chat. Nicholas Batum with the corner three. Let's go. Max with the ball. Bounce pass. To Mobley, he's being guarded by Buddy Hield, posting him up. There is a foul. Is it tech? Oh, is this a technical foul? Okay, looks like it's a three second technical foul. Okay, three second technical foul on uh Paul Reed, but they're showing Kyle Lowry, so I'm not really sure what they're doing. And they make it. All right, so it's tied up 74 to 74. It doesn't get any better than this. When you have a, a game that's tied up 74 to 74 late in the third quarter, a little bit less than half of the third quarter, I mean. So, I mean, this is a good game. This is this can go any way. Let's go. Mobley with the ball. What's we going to do? Who's going to be clutch at the end? That's what it counts. Let's go. Mobley driving on Paul Reed. Does a spin move. Ooh, nasty. I had Paul Reed doing it. Yeah. All right. 76 to 74. Kyle Lowry with the ball. What you going to do with it, bro? Kyle Lowry with the ball. What you going to do, bro? Gets a screen by Paul Reed. Driving to the lane. Puts it up. And he gets it in. And one. Let's go, Kyle Lowry. Ties the game up at 76. Four minutes and 54 seconds left in the third quarter. But not just that. But not just that. He got the and one. He's about to shoot the free throw. Shout out to teacher got game. Mike, would you rather have DeRozan or Clay? I'll take I'll take mm, I would take DeRozan right now. I, I see I don't know about Clay because I don't watch. I say I don't really know what he's doing, but it, I just know the injuries with Clay is just crazy. So I mean I'm gonna just go DeRozan because I know I see him more than I see Clay. I gotta see Clay more, but I think DeRozan will be great on this team. Great on this team. We need that. We need a scorer like that. Man, we can get rid of Tobias, man. Like, not trying to be mean. He's playing good this game, so I ain't trying to hate. But um, yeah. I'll take a I like Clay too, though, man. Oh, we get the turnover. It's going back to season. I don't know. That's a tough one. Let me think about that. Let me think about that. Beat the cast for the Knicks. Put two threes in the chat. <laughs> All 
Oh, so now you're saying beat the <laughs> okay. Okay, big task. <laughs> you funny. But that's a close one, teach uh, teacher game. Who who would you rather have? That's a tough one. I like the mid-range assassin, bro. Like, I really do. I like him. I like the Rosen. I like Clay too. Let's go. Bounce pass Buddy Hill to Kyle Lowry, 77-76. Sixers with the lead. Let's go. Tyrese Maxi being guarded by Sam. Ooh, trying to trying to cross him up. Ooh, spin move. Gives it to Kyle. Kyle with the wide open three. Ah, oh, he misses it. He misses it. Oh, will we get the ball? Buddy Hill with the ball, driving. What you going to do with it, buddy? Turn on shot clock. He gives it to us, to uh, Tyrese. Tyrese puts it up. Thought he got fouled. He gets the bucket and he gets the roll. Gets the midi. Let's go. 79 to 76. Four minutes and five seconds left in the third quarter. I'd rather sign Clyde. Yeah, I, I wouldn't mind. Let's go. Oh, Jarrett with the little hook shot makes it 78 to 79. One point game. Three minutes and 50 seconds left in the third. Tyrese Maxey with the ball. Gets a screen by Kyle Lowry. He's driving on Sam. Oh, step back three in his face. Barely touches the rim, but we get the offensive rebound. Paul Reed in the mud with the offensive rebound. Trying to put it back up on Jarrett. Oh, he, oh let's go. 13 on shot. He gets his own miss. Bounce pass to Nick Latoon. He then gets it to Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry swings it to Tyrese Maxey trying to cross up Sam. Another step back three, and he makes it look easy. Tyrese. Maxi, let's freaking go, bro. Let's freaking go. 82 to 78, four point game, three minutes and 14 seconds left in the third quarter. Donovan Mitchell puts it up. He gets fouled. There's not going to be three free throws. Right. So put one three for the Philly scoring, Kaz, and the other three for the Knicks. In the third spot. All right, we ain't worried about none of that. That seating don't mean nothing. When we play the Knicks, if we play y'all, we're going to beat the brakes off y'all. Just, just remember I said that, Big Task. We're going to beat the brakes off of y'all if we play y'all. Just letting you know. Let's Oh, nice reverse layup. Is that is that a foul shot? With the... It's nothing but fouls right now. All right, so Garland inbounding the ball. He's going to pass it to Sam. Bounce pass. Then he's going to give it right back to Garland. Garland gets a screen, and he gives it to Isaac. He's trying to cross up Kyle Lowry. Puts it off the backboard, and he gets it in. It's 82 to 80. Kyle Lowry with the ball driving to the lane. He gives it to Paul Reed. Paul Reed's driving on. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, come on, man. Gosh, Lee, bro. Turnover. Come on. Come on, bro. You're just doing too much. I think he just should have just took the shot. He had the momentum. He just should have took the shot. Too much passing sometimes. Let's go. Garland with the ball. Let's go. What you going to do with it? He gives it to Niang. Niang being guarded by Buddy Hill. But he up. Oh, let's go. Garland driving. Gives it to a wide open Sam for another corner three. And he makes. See, that's the player. Those are the two players we got to stick. And then, like, we keep giving up threes, man. Come on. 83 to 82. 83 to 82. Two minutes and 24 seconds left in the third quarter. Cavaliers are winning. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. Tyrese Maxey with the ball. Oh, step back. Midi. Misses it. Rebound by Garland. Oh, man. Garland with the ball. Gives it to a Niang. Niang fakes the three. Driving to the lane. And nobody is guarding him off the backboard. Give me a timeout or something. Because there's no defense, man. Or put or take Paul Reed out. Put Mobama back in the game. Something has to give when it comes to guarding the rim. Something. Let's go. What? A turnover. Whew. Man. All right, 85, 82. Did he step on the line? He didn't step on the line. So where's the turnover? All right, whatever. All right, Garland with the ball gets a screen. 
He's driving to the lane. He loses the ball. It's going to be six ball. The ball don't lie. What is what it is. The ball don't lie. The ball don't lie. Come on, let's go. 85-82. One minute in 34 seconds left in the third quarter. Let's go Sixers, baby. Let's go Sixers. You already know the vibe. Let's get it. Shout out to everybody that's in the building. If you haven't already, hit that like button. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. It's definitely going down. All right, let's go. Oh, still Sixer ball? Oh, my gosh. Not Sixer ball. All right. Back to the Cavs. Turnover by the Sixers. Come on. We got to come on. Niang with the ball gives it to. Come on, man. Oh, three. Another three by Sammy. Finally misses it. Come on. Thompson. Thompson. I was like, who is number 13? I was like, oh, that's Thompson. Okay. All right, Tyrese Massey shoots the three, misses it, but the putback by Buddy Hill, 84 to 85. I'm not liking Tyrese shooting so many threes right now. Like, I know he can make it, but right now, like, come on, we're shooting way too many threes. Let's go. Garland with the ball. Gets the screen, shoots a three, air balls it. I think he got blocked. Tyrese Massey with the ball, gives it to Ricky Council. Ricky Council gives it to a wide open Buddy Hill for three. Let's go. Put the threes in the chat, baby. Put the threes in the chat, baby. Let's go. Let's go. 87 to 85. 87 to 85. Ooh, three by Garland makes it, but there is a turnover. Doesn't count. 8.5 seconds left in the third quarter and a sixer ball. Let's get another bucket right here. Let's get another bucket right here. Let's get another bucket right here. All right. Oh, let's go. Tyrese Maxey with the ball. Oh, what, what happened? Are they in the penalty? No. All right, let's go. 87, 85, 6.1 left in the third quarter. All right, come on. Inbound the ball, bro. Inbound the ball. In oh, my gosh. I thought he was about to get the. <laughs> let's go. Kyle Lowry, three, two, one. He puts it up. He gets blocked. All right, so. There, there, there should be a fall. No foul. No foul. All right, so 87-85 into the third, fourth quarter. We're going to see what happens, man. This is crazy. I ain't going to lie. This is crazy. Like, I'm just thinking about, like, yo. These games are so close lately. Like every like it hasn't been like a blowout game for the Sixers either way. So this is this is this is good basketball right here both ways. So shout out to everybody that's in the building right now. Appreciate you. Can the Sixers win, man? Can I get some final score predictions in the chat? Can I get some final score predictions in the chat? I got 110 to 107 Sixers. That's just my final score prediction right there. But shout out to everybody that's in the building, man. I appreciate y'all. Yeah. Let's get this dub, man. Let's get this dub.
Crucial game. Crucial game. If we can win this game, y'all, this will help us in so many ways, man. We got we to gotta start getting on a winning streak eventually. So let's see something real quick. The Sixers. All right, so if we can hold on. games. I want to see the games. All right, so right now we got the of course the Cavs. We got the Raptors on Sunday. We got the Thunder Tuesday. Oof. That's the rumor of Drell and B's welcome back. Welcome back party against the Thunder. Then we got the Heat. The Grizzlies, the Spurs, the Pistons, the Magic, and the Nets. How many games can the Sixers win? Nine games left, not including this game that we're playing now. So, yeah, how many games can they win? Can they win six out of nine? Can they win five out of nine? I don't know. We shall see. Let's go. We got to handle business right now. We got to stand on business and handle it. Thompson with the ball being guarded by Paul Reed. Paul Reed gives it to Garland. Garland with the ball. Driving to the lane. Puts it up. Floater. Makes it. Makes it. All right. Come on. Let's go. Ricky Council gives it to Nicholas Batum. Nicholas Batum gives it to... Buddy Hill, Buddy Hill going between his legs, trying to cross up Sam. He gives it to Ricky Council. Ricky Council is driving to the lane, puts it up hard off the paint, misses it, rebound by Thompson. Thompson gives it to Garland. Garland makes it and one. Mm -mm. I ain't liking it. I ain't liking that, bro. Final score predictions in the chat, man. Let me know what y'all final score predictions going to be, man, for this game, man. I got the Sixers winning 110 to 107. One, one, 110 to 107 Sixers, man. Close game to the end. But we're going to get the dub at the end, man. But we got to play better defense, and we got to score the dang on ball. <laughs> Let's go. Tyrese Maxey with the ball. 90 to 87, three-point game. The start of the fourth quarter. Tyrese Maxey, I need you to get out from the field, baby. Get out from the field. Gives it to Buddy Hill. Buddy Hill, wide open, easy layup. No defense whatsoever. Good take by Buddy Hill. 89 to 90, 10 minutes and 57 seconds left in the fourth. Garland puts up. Nope, he doesn't put up. Shot. Gives it to Thompson with an ugly shot. Misses it. Rebound by the Sixers. Tyrese Maxey with the ball. Being guarded by Garland. Ooh, gets a screen by Paul Reed. Puts up a midi, 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 and he makes it look easy. Nothing but net. Shout out to Tyrese Maxey. The Sixers regain the lead 91 to 90. 91 to 90. The Philadelphia 76ers are doing their thing, baby. Garland fakes the three. Then he's going between his legs. Bounce past the Thompson. Thompson gives it to a wide open three by the Yang, and the Yang makes it again. This is like his fifth three. Can somebody put a hand in his face? 93 to 91, two point game. Two-point game, y'all. Let's go. Tyrese Maxey with the ball. Trying to trying to cross up Sam. Going between his legs. Looking for a screen by Nicholas Batum. The double team's coming, but he's driving right past Sam. Trying to drive. Oh, wide open three by, uh, by Nicholas Batum, and he makes it look easy. Put the threes in the chat, man. Put the threes in the chat if you haven't already. Put the threes in the chat. It's definitely going down. 94 to 93, nine minutes and 51 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Garland with the ball being guarded by Nicholas Batum. Gets a screen by Thompson. He stops his dribble, bounce pass. There's a turnover. Oh, they know it's not a turnover. He regains control of the ball. Thompson gets it to Niang Niang, driving to the lane, puts it up off the backboard, misses it, but there's an offensive rebound by, nope, is out of bounds, bounces off. Paul Reed goes out of bounds, so it's going to remain Cavalier ball, 94 to 93 with nine minutes and 34 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Can the Philadelphia 76ers get it together and win this game? We need this game in the worst way. We really do. We need this game in the worst way. We got to get out of a losing streak. We got to win. 24 lead changes and seven ties in this game. Let's go. This game is going back and forth. Now, they're lucky we don't got Joel Embiid. Oh, my gosh. Pe see, people don't understand, man. Like, this stuff right here won't be happening, bro. We'll be dominating this game. It's just unfortunate, bro. Oh, my gosh. I passed in the end. The end's flexing, getting the dang on layup. Come on, bro. Nah, bro. 
Come on, bro. 95 to 94, nine minutes and 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter. The Philadelphia 76ers are down by one, 95 to 94. Kyle Lowry with the ball. He gives it to Tobias Harris. Tobias Harris looking around, gives it to Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry gets a screen by Tobias. He doesn't use it, goes the opposite way, does a pass to Ricky Council. Ricky Council gives it to Kyle Lowry. He fakes the three. One of the strikers, shoot the ball. He steps out of Turnover by the Sixers sometimes is just frustrating because I'm just like, yo, just put up the shot. You might get an offensive rebound and get another chance at it, man. Just put up a shot, man. It won't be a perfect shot sometimes. Like, come on. Put up a shot. Let's go, baby. Bounce pass to Mobley. Mobley loses the ball out of bounds, but it was tipped out of bounds, so it's going to remain Cavaliers' ball. But shout out to everybody that's vibing with your bull. You already know the vibes. Let's go. All right, gives it to Niang. Niang with the ball being guarded by Kyle Lowry. He gives it to Mobley. Mobley with the ball, driving to the lane, passes it to Sam. Sam gives it to a Niang. Niang wide open three again, and he makes it again. 98 to 94, and he's screaming and flexing. Come on, man. Get out of here, bro. Like, really? Yo, how many threes does Niang have, bro? I got to look this up, bro. This is getting out of control, bro. What? Like, what? He has 18 points, bro. Yo, bull hit. I think he hit five threes. I didn't update. Did it update or is it four threes? It looked like he, it says four, four threes. I, I, I want to say five threes, bro. That's what I want to say. But man, this is got this is getting out of control, bro. I'm looking around like, yo, how is this possible? Niang is just dominating like this, bro. Hitting threes left and right. Like what? Crazy. All right. And the Yang is hitting threes left and right. It's a, it's a four point lead, ninety eight to ninety four. I just don't understand it, bro. Like, why are we giving up so many threes to Niang? Like, it could be anybody else, but not Sam or Niang. Like, stop letting them with these wide open threes. They're making them all almost, bro. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, we can't let these dudes wide open. We had to play better perimeter defense. Let them create off the dribble. Instead of shooting a three, bro. If they're wide open and shooting a three, nine times out of ten right now, they're making everything. It's like they're shooting the ball in the ocean. They're making everything. The rim is absolutely humongous. It's a big, giant ocean, and they're swishing it every single time. And you got Niang flexing on us. I don't want Sixers that used to be on our team do this to us, bro. No, we're not. No, 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 no. We got to win this game, bro. But we can't be giving up all these threes. Giving up all these threes is not good. But shout out to everybody that's in the building. If you haven't already, hit that like button, hit that like button, hit that like button. It's definitely going down. Consider subscribing to your ball. I do play-by-play -play for most of the Sixer games. And I do Philly play-by-play -play for some of the games. And I do Viking content as well. Let's get it. Let's go. All right, so Tyrese Maxey with the ball. 94 to 98, 8 minutes and 33 seconds left in the game. Tobias Harris with the ball gives it to Tyrese Maxey. Tyrese Maxey driving to the lane. What you going to do, bro? Gives it to Mobamba. Mobamba gives it right back to Tyrese Maxey. Tyrese Maxey shoots a midi. Hard shot, but he, he misses it. That was a hard shot. 98 to 94. Let's go. Garland with the ball. Let's go. Niang with the ball. Being guarded by Kelly Oubre Jr. He gives, he gives it to Marcus Morris. Marcus Morris gives it to Sam. Sam gives it to Niang. Niang's looking around. He's driving on Kelly Oubre Jr. He loses the ball, but he gets fouled. Oh, my God. 
gosh. Mm -mm. All right, let's go. Donovan Mitchell with the ball, gives it to Sam. Sam gives it to Donovan Mitchell. Bounce pass to Mobley. Mobley goes hard in the paint, gets blocked by Mobama, but there will be a foul, and he's going to go to the free throw line for two. Whew! This is crazy. Joel and B, we need you, brother. We need you. We need you, brother. Dang. All right, let's go. Mobley at the free throw line, shoots it, and he misses it. Let's go. Let's go. So it's a five-point game, y'all. One of two from the free throw line for Mobley. Let's go. Tyrese Maxey with the ball gives it to Kelly Oubre Jr. Kelly Oubre Jr. gets the Mobamba. Gives it to Tyrese. Tyrese being guarded by Donovan Mitchell. Come on. Kelly Oubre Jr. driving, 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 going hard in the paint. Misses it. Good defense by Mobley. Gosh, Lee, bro. Donovan Mitchell with the ball. Let's go. Get it to a wide open. Oh, my gosh. Marcus Morris. Oh, my gosh. And then he points at the dang on bench of the Sixers. Bro, we're getting beat by former Sixers, bro. 102 to 94, bro. Come on, bro. Kelly Oubre Jr. gets it to Tyrese. Tyrese driving to the oh, – Kyle, Kyle Lowry driving to the lane. Gives it to Tyrese. Maxi Tyrese gives it to Kyle Lowry. Shoots a three. He makes it. Thank you. Put the threes in the chat, baby. Put the threes in the chat, baby. This game's not over. It's like, dang, bro. You're giving them, like, right, facts, Malik. They're giving them wide open threes. Donovan Mitchell with a three, and he misses it. Finally, get the re. Oh, my goodness. Grab the ball. Grab the ball. Grab the rebound. Wide open layup, and it's a goal 10 by Mobile. All right, y'all. 104 to 97. Let's 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 just get it together. We ain't gonna overthink it. It's we got enough time. It's just we gotta do better. Come on, let's go. It's game time. We at the end. Six minutes and 20 seconds left. Let's go. Tyrese Maxi with the ball. Come on, Tyrese. Come on, Tyrese. Gives it to Mobamba. Mobamba's looking around, gives it right back to Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry does a bounce back to Mobamba. I don't know why they keep giving the Mobamba, but let's go. Kyle Lowry shoots another three, misses it. Come on. All right, six minutes exactly left in the fourth quarter. The Sixers are down, but they're not out. Down by seven. Come on. Let's go. Mobley with the ball, goes hard in the paint, misses it, gets blocked by Kelly Oubre Jr., Good help defense by Kelly Oubre Jr. Five on the shot clock for the Cavs. We need to get some buckets, man. We need to score. Like, that's my biggest thing. We have to score. We are struggling to score right now. We have to score. All right, let's go. Yeah, I know. That's it's it's crazy. I like Nian. Yeah, I like Nian. We said the day. Right, right. I got you, Joshua. You Malik, I agree with you, bro. All right, Marcus Morris gives it to Sam. Almost loses the ball. Shoots the three. Air balls it, but they get the rebound. It's a shot clock violation. Sixers got to get some points. They have to score. They have to, they have to do better. What the heck is going on now? Oh, man. 
it's still Cavs ball. And what did they read? Oh my gosh, it's still Cavs ball. All right, so let's go. 104 to 97, five minutes and 40 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Marcus Morris gave it to Niang. Niang's looking for Donovan Mitchell. Let's go. Donovan Mitchell shoots a three in Tobias Harris's face, misses it. Rebound by the Sixers. Kyle Larry with the ball. Five minutes, 27. He's driving to the lane. Alley hoop to Obama, and he makes it. 99 to 104, five point game. We got enough time. It's not over. It is not over by any means. It's not over. Let's go. Sam with another three. Misses it. Rebound by Tobias. Let's freaking go, six. Let's go. Kyle Larry with the ball. He fakes the three, driving to the lane, puts up a midi, makes it look easy. Let's go, Kyle Lowry. Timeout by the Cavs. It's a three point game with five minutes and two seconds left in this game. It's not over. It's not over. We still got five minutes of game time, baby. Get your popcorn ready. Let's go, Sixers. Talk that talk. You already know the vibes, man. Mike Sports vibes. Thank you for vibing with me. You already know the vibes, man. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Man, I don't know what happened, bro. Anyone know where? Oh, I'm here, bro. I'm trying to read, catch up in the chat. Jordan Yang is burnt. Yeah, he is, but I, I, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep it real, man. I'm gonna keep it real, bro. We're gonna be all right. But yeah, shout out to everybody that's in the building, man. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. We're going to see what happens, man. We're going to see what happens. This is a game right here. It's good. It's a game, bruh. It's a game, bruh. Stop playing with us. It's a game. We're about to do our thing. It's a game. We're about to do our thing. It's a game. We're about to do our thing. You already know those vibes, man. Shout out to everybody that's rocking with your boy. You already know those vibes. We doing it big out here. We doing it big. We doing it big. We doing it big. We're about to get this dub. We about to get this dub, y'all. Shout out to everybody rocking with your boy. Shout out to the people in the back and the left and the right. Let's go. 104 to 101, 502. Left in the fourth. All right. Let's go. Sixers, we got it. We, we can we can definitely win this game. Let's go. There's name. Uh, come on, y'all. Let's get this dub. All right. Marcus Morris was talking trash. I hope we win this game, bro. I do not want two former Sixers to beat us, bro. I can't. Can't deal with that. All right, what's going on? Turning point. Let's go. Ooh, come on. Kyle Lowry's playing good basketball right now. Let's go. Garland driving to the lane. He almost turns the ball over. He gets it to Marcus Morris and then Donovan Mitchell driving. But he gets the ball stolen by Tobias Harris. Oh, my goodness. Tobias Harris with the steal. And then the three. Oh, the perfect dunk by Mamba. The perfect dunk by Mamba. Oh my gosh, the Cavs with a nice pass to Mobley for the easy layup. Dang. 106 to 103, four minutes and 15 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Kyle Lowry with the ball gives it to Nicholas with two. Nicholas with two gives it to Mobama. Mobama gives it to Tyrese Maxey. Tyrese Maxey with the ball. What you going to do with it, Tyrese? He, oh, he stops his dribble. 
He puts it up over. Oh, 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 dang. All right, so he missed it. Garland with the ball. Three minutes and 56 seconds left. Morris with the ball being guarded by Tobias. He gives it to Garland. Garland gives it right to Mobley. Mobley's being guarded by Mobamba. He's trying to beast mode him. Does a little jump shot over top of him. Gets the row and goes in. It is now <sighs> five-point game. Let's go. Tyrese Maxey with the ball. Three minutes and 35 seconds left in the fourth quarter. He gives it to Nicholas Batum. Nicholas Batum gives it right back to Tyrese Maxey. Tyrese Maxey gets a screen by Mo Bamba. Mo Bamba with the ball. Oh, he should have shot that three. Right open three right there. Let's go. Tobias Harris shoots the midi over top. Makes it. Good job, Tobias. Let's go. 105 to 108. Three-point lead by the Cavs, and the Cavs call a full timeout. Cavs call a full timeout. Shout out to everybody that's in the building, man. Let's go Sixers, man. Let's go. Full timeout by the Cavs. The Cavs is getting nervous. The Cavs is getting nervous. Let's go. We about to win this game, man. For real. We about to win this game. I don't care what nobody says. We about to win this game. Shout out to everybody that's in the building right now. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button, hit that like button, hit that like button. Consider subscribing to your boy. I do play by play for most of the Sixer games this season. It's definitely, definitely going down. Philly, everything besides football, football. I'm a Viking fan. Let's get it. Shout out to the chat. Shout out to the people that's rocking with me. You already know the vibes. It's going to come down to the wire. My prediction was wrong. I said 110 to 107. My prediction is wrong. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah. Twenty-one points by Kyle Lowry. Six eleven from the field. Four of eight from three. Three rebounds. Five assists. Five of five from the free throw line. Season high with the Philadelphia 76ers. Wow. Kyle Lowry's having a outstanding game. I hope we don't waste this game and lose against the Cavs. So. Joel Embiid. Can't wait, brother. All right. All right, let's go. Let's see what we can do, y'all. Shout out to the chat. Shout out to the people in the building. You already know the vibes. Let's go, Sixers, man. Let's go, Sixers. Let's go. Let's go. 108 to 105. Three minutes and 18 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Can the Philadelphia 76ers beat the Cavs in the last three minutes and 15 seconds? Come on. Let's go. Garland with the ball being guarded by Tyrese Maxey. He gets a screen by Mobley. Mobley going hard in the paint. Shorty, what you think? But he misses. It gets blocked by Mobamba, and he steals the ball. Oh, my gosh. Mobamba is clutch with that. Let's go. Tyrese Maxey driving. He's driving. Nope. He's taking it out. What's he going to do? Two minutes and 55 seconds left in the fourth quarter. He's driving again. He gives it to Tobias. Tobias fakes a three, driving on the yang, puts up a jump shot, and he makes it look easy. Oh, my gosh. 107 to 108, two minutes and 45 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And Tobias Harris is coming through. Let's go. I might not want to trade him for a crumble cookie for just this one game. Let's go. Garland with the ball, driving to the lane. What's he going to do with it? He passes it to Mobley. Mobley gives it to Garland. Garland shoots a wide open three, misses it. Rebound by Kyle Lowry. Let's go. Let's go. Kyle Lowry with the ball. Stops his dribble. And he's looking for Tyrese. Tyrese Maxey with the ball. He shoots a three from outer space. Misses it terribly. Come on, Tyrese. Gives it to uh, Max with the rebound. Gives it to Garland. Two minutes and seven seconds left in the fourth quarter. The Sixers are down by one. 108 to 107. Can the Philadelphia 76ers come through and get this dub? Garland's being guarded by Mobamba. Trying to, oh, he crossed him up. Layup. 
that was nasty. I'm not going to lie. So now it's a three-point game, 110 to 107. One minute and 54 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Tyrese Maxey with the ball. What you going to do, Tyrese? He gives it to Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry is doing his thing this game. He's doing his thing. Gets a screen by Tobias. Tobias wide open for a three. He misses it. Niggas with two hits the ball out. Then does an alley hoop to Mo Bamba. Wow. One point game. 109 to 110 with one minute and 31 seconds left in the fourth. Wow. Offensive rebound 16 to 5. And that's Sixers. We got that. Let's go. Good, good rebounding for the Sixers. Let's go. Garland with the ball. There's an alley hoop to Mobley right back. Oh my gosh. Come on. Come on. It's going to come down to the end. Kyle Lowry with the ball. Let's go. Let's go, Kyle. Let's go, Kyle. Let's go, Kyle. He's driving on Garland. He's driving on Garland. He's backing him down. He shoots a midi over top of him, and he makes it look easy. Let's go, Kyle Lowry. It's a one-point game, 111 to 112. 54 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Let's go, Sixers. 23 points for Kyle Lowry. Seven points in this quarter. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. It's definitely going on the defense, baby. Tyrese Maxey on a fast break, baby. He's driving to the lane off the backboard, and he gets it in. The Sixers regain the lead. 113 to 112 with 30 seconds. Garland with the ball, driving past Tyrese Maxey. He gives it to Mobley. Mobley shoots a three, and he makes it what yo this is crazy timeout by the sixers 115 to 113 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter can the philadelphia 76ers win this game can the philadelphia 76ers beat the fourth seed Cavs and win this game i think they can i know they will let's go sixers playing games with us man we're not giving up without a fight make sure you hit that like button if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already play by play for most of the sixer games this season play by play for philly games if you're philly everything besides football football i'm a viking fan i'm gonna be doing play by play for the vikings as well let's go baby let's go hybrid sports fan mike sports vibes you already know the vibes let's go Gotta talk my talk shout out to everybody i'm tired of losing yeah, yeah teacher guy game I, I feel you bro I, I, I'm 100% with you, bro. I, I'm just, I, I'm over it. You know what I mean? It's like, we keep, I don't, I, I don't want to lose this game, bro. Like, it's like, we, 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 I get so excited. And then, then they break my heart when you got Mobley hitting a dang on three on in, in our face. Now it was 115 to 113. And I am hoping they do not, I don't want to go to overtime. You know what I mean? But I have a big feeling we're going to be going to overtime. We're, we're not going to go for the three. We're going to go for the two. And we're going to tie this game up, and it's going to go to overtime. I don't know about the overtime. But we could possibly win in overtime. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It can go either way. This game is really that close. This game has been close all game pretty much, and we're still close with 28.2 seconds left in the fourth quarter. So that's pretty darn cool. But I want to win these close games. I'm tired of losing. Like you said, bro, I'm tired of losing. Niggas with two inbounds the ball to Tyrese Maxey. Tyrese Maxey with the ball gives it to Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry's looking around. He's going guarded by Max. Oh, that was an easy lap. He goes hard in the paint. Oh, Mobama is going to the free throw line for two. I think Kyle Lowry could have shot that layup. I don't know why he did not go for that layup, but he gave it to Mobama. Mobama's going to go to the free throw line for two. So Mobama has to make his free throws. Please make your free throws, bro. Please make your free throws, bro. Mobamba, make your free throws, bro. Please, bro. I need you to make your free throws, bro. He makes the first one. Whew. 114 to 115. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's freaking go, baby. Stop playing games with us, man. Stop playing games with the Sixers, man. We doing it big right now, man. We about to win it all this year. I don't care nobody. I'm going to keep saying it until, we, until I'm proving otherwise. Let's go, Mobamba. 14 points, 7 rebounds for Mobamba. Let's go. Make this clutch free throw, brother. Please make this. Please make this, Mobamba. Please make this both um, but... All right, he's shooting the free throw. No, he misses it. No, Mopa. No.
Why? <laughs> No, <laughs> yo, this is crazy, man. Like, why? Like, oh my gosh! I hope they miss a free throw. Oh man, I don't know, y'all. I, I I just don't know. You know what I mean? I, I try to be positive. I'm, I'm gonna be positive as much as I possibly can. But I will tell you this. I ain't feeling it. I ain't feeling it. I'm not feeling it. But shout out to the people in the building. You already know the vibes. It's about to go down. It's about to go down. Mo Bamba. Shout out to my boy Ingram. Mo Bamba. That's my guy, man. But he missing free throws at the end. We needed it, bro. We needed it in the worst way, and my guy misses the free throw, bruh. My guy missed the free throw. Dang. Mm -mm -mm. All right, y'all. 114 to 115, 17.6 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Can the Philadelphia 76ers get a steal on his inbound? Get the ball and win this game. Can they shock the world? Let's go. Inbound the ball to, was that Niang? He gets fouled. He's grabbing his face. All right, Niang. Hope you're good, brother. Mm. Excuse me, y'all. I'm sorry for yawning. But yeah, man, I, I'm not liking what I'm seeing, man. The Duke Blue Devils. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They winning. You know they winning. You know they going to win, bro. It is what it is, bro. It is what it is, bro. But, yeah, man, Obama missed that free throw, man. Like, dang. Oh, boy, missed the dang on free throw. All right, so let's go. 16.1 seconds left. Come on, get the steal. Oh, Donovan Mitchell got, got the ball. Try to get the steal. Try to get the steal. Oh, that's a foul. All right. Foul on Donovan Mitchell. He's going to go to the free throw line for two. 12.8 seconds left in the fourth. Hopefully, he can miss one. We just need him to miss one. I just want him to miss one, and we can be either win it with a three or tie. Of course, if he makes both, then we got to tie it with a three. But I'm hoping that he misses one. You know what I mean? Just miss one, Donovan Mitchell. Just miss one. Shoots it up. Oh, it makes the first one. All right, so 116 to 114. Miss this, miss this one, bro. Miss this one, bro. Miss this one, bro. One sixteen to one fourteen. Let's go. Missed this free throw. He makes them both. All right, so we got to tie it up with a three. Oh man, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. He shoots the three times. Ah, oh. damn. What? All right, so they're going to review, they're going to review, like, the, I guess the, the time, but UConn is really good. Our free throw, our free throw shooters. Yeah. Nick Nurse needs to have free throw shooting practices. Man, we need to get perimeter defense classes, bro. Our perimeter defense was trash this game, bro. We gave up a lot of threes, bro. 
too many threes. Way too many threes. Let me see something real quick. All right, so let's see. They shot 43.2% from three. This game is over. What are they doing? Excuse me. My bad, y'all. All right, so. Yeah, it's 117. To, yeah, the final score just showed up on the ESPN scoreboard. It's over. 117 to 114. Sixers lose again. Gosh, the our rebounding practice is to Mr. Ward one for those carry the bomb. Yeah, everybody, man. But really, that is we let we could have won this damn game, bro. It's so unfortunate. Unfortunate loss, man. I, I took two L's today. You know what I mean? I watched the I did the play by play for the Phillies. L. I did a play by play for the Sixers. L. I took two L's today, bro. Like for real, I took two L's. I don't know what to say. I don't even know what to say about this game. I mean, it was a good game. I mean, it's just we gave up too many threes. We we free throws was a free throw shoot, and we shot fourteen of seventeen, eighty two point four percent from the free throw line. It's just the free throws bit us. We let we let Niang make five threes, five of eight. The man had 25 points, man. Malik, the man had 25 points. Niang had 25 points, bruh. 25 points, bruh. What the heck are we doing, bruh? For real? Yeah, this is a Sixers look. Let's talk about it. Yeah, man, like, what's wrong with these? What's wrong with the Sixers right now, man? Like, like, <laughs> like, dang, like, like, what happened? We lost at the end last game. We losing again this game. It's like, oh, man. I don't know what to say, y'all. I really don't. This game was just, this game sucks. I mean, this game right here sucks. Because we let two former Sixers destroy us. Like, my boy, I'm tired of losing too, T-Shirt Gaga. I'm just so tired of losing, bro. Like, that's, we need Joel and B back, bro. I don't know if we can win another game. I don't know if we can win another game without Joel and B. Yeah, they're not good without Joel, but they're good with Joel. I mean, we letting the Yang do all that to us, bro. I'm trying to think, like, who can we can we beat the Raptors on Sunday at six? Can we beat the Raptors? I'm being dead serious. Can we beat the Raptors? Like, honest question, bro. You think he's playing on Sunday against the Raptors? Is that is that a is that like breaking news or is that just what what is that what they saying? Man, this game sucks, bro. I can't believe we lost this game, bro. Who's guarding Scotty Barnes? Uh, you said Mike. Do you have? Yeah, I, I'm a. I, 
I'll put the link. I'm not going to be on that long, but I will put the link. I'll put the link, though. I, I'll put it in the chat. I'll put it in the chat. Just, uh, I'm putting it right now. Anybody wants to come on real quick, let me know, man. I'm going to put it, put you, you can definitely come in the, uh, the live with me. So we can talk about this game real quick, but I ain't going to be on, I ain't going to be on long. But uh, I do want to, if y'all want to vent and get some things off your chest, man, definitely hit me up. Um, Come on the live with your boy Ingram and Malik. Anybody wants to come on. It doesn't matter who. Teacher got game if you want to come on. Anybody that's in the chat right now, if y'all want to come on, just let me know. I just got to, uh, I just put the link in the chat. I just put the link in the chat. All right, I got my boy. So I got someone. All right, my boy AJ's in there. AJ. Yo, yo, AJ. Yo. What's going on, brother? What's going on? Hi. Uh, so I know that. How you doing? Yeah. I'm doing good. How about you? Oh, man. I'm doing wonderful besides taking two L's. I did the play by play for the Phillies. We lost in the dang on seventh and eighth inning. And then I'm doing the play-by-play -play back to back with the Sixers, and then we took the L at the end of this game. But the thing that makes it worse is we got destroyed by Niang. 25 points, five of eight from three. Five of eight from three, bro. That is unacceptable. You know what's crazy? My boy Malik caught it. He said, What if Mal what if what if Niang gets 30 on us? A 30-piece nugget. The man pretty much had 30 points on us, bro. How do we let that happen? This dude Niang's got like the luckiest game ever, bro. This dude Niang, he needs to go cut some some of his weight. He's not like this guy. Does he even work out? Like why is he so <laughs> like? Come I don't on, know, man. man. Go get some abs, Niang. How do we let him drive to the rim every single time? He Yo, and he be and it. he be making a hey, and he be making it though. That's what makes it worse. He be making layups on it. Like, I, yo, I don't know what happened. That Mobley three at the end, I'm like, how does that freaking happen, bro? Like, what the heck, bro? Like, is it is it just our luck right now? Like, what's the heck? What is going on, bro? Like, it has to be our luck. Bro, bro I'm no probably, I probably have a better mile time than Niang. Niang probably has, like, a 10-minute mile. How is he driving to the rim and still making these layups? I, I just don't understand. Yeah, I don't understand either. It's, it's like he's he's moving in slow motion, doing it, and he's making it. And it, but my whole thing is this, right? I I just don't under. I what happened with the perimeter defense this game? What 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 happened with our perimeter? De are we? How many threes we gave up? About 16, 17 threes today, bro. And Sam and the Yang made most of them. Sam Merrill, number five. Made he was doing his thing. Niang was hitting threes all over us. It wasn't even like Garland had a good game. Donovan Mitchell definitely oh, didn't Mitchell have a good and game. Garland, we locked him up, man. Right, that's what I'm saying. How did we lose this game, bro? And one thing, one good thing about the Sixers is that we play really good defense on stars. That's what I gotta say. But we can't be letting these role players do do this. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's. Dude, I, I, what I don't understand is why is Evan Mobley making threes? I, I feel like. We just got a little bit unlucky with that. Yeah. Man, that was some bull. I said, yo, what is the chances of that happening? And you know we had a good game from a lot of people. I'm going to say this. Kyle Lowry, I want to give a big shout-out to Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry had 23 points, 6 assists, and 3 rebounds. He played excellent on defense. He And then Tobias. Shout-out to Tobias Harris, man. 21 points, 2 assists, and 7 rebounds. Keep it up, Tobias. Keep it up. Maxi struggled from the field. He couldn't really get it together. He was missing too many threes, but he still finished with a double-double with 16 points, 11 assists, and two rebounds. Mo Bamba had a good game as well. 14 points, one assist, seven rebounds. Paul Reed played all right. Buddy Hill, okay. It, it, it's just our luck, bro. You Kelly Oubre, I'll say that Kelly Oubre should have played better, though. That's but. the... That was the missing, yes, yeah. because what did he do in 21 minutes? Four, four points. points and four rebounds. 
So yeah. it was just like, dang, like, come on. You got, you just got to do better. He has to do better. And then, and then like, you know, you, you had to guard guys like, like they, they kept getting wide open. George Niang, Sam Merrill, Struess. They're all wide open every single time. Like, put a hand in their face. Do you not get it? They, they made, like, three threes. Like, do you not understand that you have to contest these guys, right? Right. I I, I honestly don't know what <laughs> – I, I, I just don't know. The perimeter defense this particular game just was garbage. Straight up garbage. And now we lost again, and now – the, the Heat is starting to get a little bit more of a lead in that seventh spot. We, I wanted to try to catch the sixth or the fifth, the sixth seed because yeah, they got 42 wins, but I don't know if that's even possible at this point. We can't win any. We can't beat these teams. Like we, some of these games, we should have won, bro. Mo Bamba. Clippers, we should have won at least the Clippers one, right? We should have beat the Clippers. I feel like we should have beat both of these teams, AJ. Yeah. The, the, the Clippers, we should have won that. Play a little bit better perimeter defense. Bro, we should have won this game. damn game, Or if you bro. get more from Kelly Oubre, you win yeah. this game. But you got to think, like, it's give and take. Like, we 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 shut, like you said, we shut down their star. We shut down Garland. We shut down um Donovan Mitchell. You're telling me we're going to give up 25 points to Niang? To Niang? Yeah, that of just, all the players, you're telling me you're going to give up off, that. Bro. Tell me, bro, that, that actually pissed me off, like, I know sometimes, like, on the Sixers, Niang had those games where he's, like, hot and he had, like, a hot streak. But, like, like you can't, like, contest him. Every single three-pointer was wide open. And guess guess what? Guess who left him wide open? Mo Bamba. <laughs> Mo Bamba. <laughs> it's like Mo Bamba, every time he contested a shot, he got cooked. I uh, See, see, i say this. Mo Bamba, you know, I... Mobamba, I, I just don't be knowing, man. Like sometimes I just be like, "What, what's going on, bro?" Like, what? All right, so look, we're looking at the stats right now, right? And we shot forty-four point seven from the field, forty-two of is that ninety-four. Wow, wow, we just missed a lot of dang shots. We just couldn't shoot, man. Then we uh we shot forty percent from the three, sixteen of forty. It's forty percent. We shot 82.4 from the free throw line, 14 of 17. Then if you add an extra 15 free throws because of Joel Embiid, or another 10 at least, and, and he would have definitely and won this game. Kelly Oubre could have had a better game. Too. Yeah, he, he's the one that kind of, I don't want to say lost the game. I think it was a perimeter defense more than anything because there's no reason why Niang should have 25 points and 5 of 8 from 3. But, yeah, Kelly Oubre Jr. should have at least had double figures, at least 10 points. Give me at least 10 points and we win this game. But, you know but, what I mean? but here's the problem with Kelly Uber sometimes. This is my problem with him. Is that, like, when it comes to defense, right, he always, like, fouls. Like, he always gives up and ones, like, unnecessary oh. fouls. Like, you saw that one where he um, uh, he just had to do a normal contest on Sam Merrill. But instead, he, right. he, he like, jumped on him. You, saw, you remember that one, right? Right, right, right. Yeah. I, you're talking about when he shot the three? Yeah, you, you remember that? Yeah, yeah. I three said, three. what? Yeah. Why would you jump on him like that? That's what I'm saying. You're, you're over contesting. Just like, just like, do a normal contest that you like learn, right? And I don't know, bro. I, I do not have any clue. Uh, Nicholas Batum had eight points. Yeah, that's good. That's a good game for him. That's a good game for him. He's really the Kelly Oubre Jr. Hurt us. I, I think Nicholas Batum's starting to play better. Actually, he's starting to make some threes. Yeah. He, uh, he got he got his eight rebounds. He's starting to play better, so I, I like that. Uh, Paul Reed had a nice little game. What's your so what's your opinion on Tyrese Maxey? Because he's been struggling. It seems like a little bit. He's been struggling. I think last his... game he played well. I, I don't know. I think it's uh like the defenses. NBA defenses are getting like playing him harder um he's, yeah he's, he's trying he's, to get the ball out of his hand coverages but but the other thing is that he some of his shots that he takes is like not a good shot you remember that shot um where he shot it from outer space <laughs> right 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 shot it from yeah. outer space right? yeah that yeah. shot right there like there was still a lot of like 20 seconds left in the shot clock we we're up by one 
So you, you just wait till the shot clock, at least wait till 15 seconds left in the shot clock to shoot it, right? Then he shot it, it way too early. Way too early. I, I don't know why he's doing that. Why is he shoot? I know he got range, right? But it's like, I'd be like, gosh, Lee, get a little wait. bit closer. Set up the offense. Oh Set up the offense. Get it flowing. And if you miss the shot, I mean, it's fine. But I oh, mean, my boy Ingram said you gotta say Mo Bamba right. You gotta say Mo Bamba. You gotta say it. You gotta say it right. But um, but yeah, man, I I, I feel like this, man. Like Tyrese Max, I just feel like there's just too much. Um, I, we just need Joel Embiid back. I just think it's too much responsibility on him, and I think everything's gonna be a, it's gonna be a little bit better. He just struggled. He just struggled this game. If he would have had his season average, we would have won this game. He just struggled all game. But the one thing I will say is he had 11 assists, and that's big. I mean, even though he didn't have a good game shooting, he was setting up his teammates yeah. for the most part pretty well. You know what I mean? So them 11 assists, that's that's the most assists he had in a while, right? Hasn't had 11 yeah. assists in, in, a, in a while, so that's pretty good. But I want to give a big shout-out to Kyle Lowry once again, man. Like, that's yeah, why – and that's well. why Nick Nurse – I think we answered our question about Tyrese Maxey. Um, and, and about Kyle Lowry because we know Kyle Lowry, I feel like it's going to be big for us in the playoffs. Now I understand. Yeah. I understand. I know it's just one game, but I could just see it. Maybe he's just saving it for the right time. And, you know, the playoffs are right around the corner. You know what I mean, we we only have nine games left. That's the yeah. thing. But we, st but we still have to start winning. Like, we can't just lose out. We're not going to yeah. make the playoffs. Also, um, I think Buddy Hewitt is coming off the bench now. I, but I think maybe you can play play him a little bit more minutes. And then also, again, Ka Cameron Payne <laughs> only got five minutes. Again. I'm looking at it right now. Yeah, five minutes, two points, two assists. Like, He's not getting yeah. playing time. Yeah, that's not I'm surprised good. your your guy Ricky got playing time. Ricky Council, yeah. Yeah, uh, he got not, nine minutes. That's Nine a good. Of that's a time. good amount. I think actually, yeah, maybe 10, 15 minutes is a good amount. Cause uh, yeah, yeah sometimes he, he can put up like uh, some bad shots, but you know he's hungry and he's hustling better than Tobias here. So yeah, so see, see, I can't say nothing bad about Tobias in this particular. Yeah, game. I know, but it's just a, one game, like you know. Yeah, just, I know, I know, I know, AJ. I know we're gonna see what he do against the dang on Raptors on Sunday. But like honestly. Who I, I'm trying to think of the Raptors roster. So I know they, they they got they don't got Siakam. They, got, they don't got OG and RJ Barrett. And RJ Barrett and who, who else? Bruce who Brown, else is a big name? Scotty Barnes. Uh, Scotty. Yeah, Chris Boucher, Boucher. Like they're not good. They're not good. Yeah. They're not, young. Not, we should beat the Raptors. We should be. We should if we play this way, we're, we'll destroy the Raptors. Right? We should. We should. I I don't want to jinx us though. You know what I mean? Like I just don't want to jinx us at this point because I said the same thing about the dang on Grizzlies, right? And we yeah. lost to the Grizzlies. Like, like Grizzlies, got, no, no, like, but remember that Grizzlies game? We were playing terrible offensively. If we just play good offensively, we we'll, we'll, I think we we'll win, right? All right. So Scotty Barnes, like you said, R.G. Barrett, uh, who Bruce Brown, uh, who else? Like that? I'm like, oh, that's a pretty good player. Not there's nobody on this team that I'm like, oh, besides Scotty Barnes and RJ Barrett. RJ Barrett's not consistent. Um, I like Scotty Barnes a lot. Bruce Brown's a solid role player. Um it's a, it's a good young team, I guess. Yeah. There's nobody that I'm like, oh, I'm just scared of. Like, oh yeah. that person can score 30 points on us and that yeah. So we should be able to win this game. Oh, I'm hearing that Joel Embiid is going to come back against the Thunder. Is he coming back against the Thunder? Is he coming back on Sun? Like, who's it's a probable, it's probably or not probable question, but questionable. For real, is that something that's yeah. real? <laughs> yeah, I think uh, DJ Eastwood made a video on that. Yeah, I'm trying to think because I I'm looking up the information right now. Like, I'm about to I'm just gonna put Joel Embiid on. I'm gonna just put Joel Embiid in Google and see <laughs> what pops up because. <laughs> I'm trying not to be too excited about that, man, until it, like, yeah. until it, like, oh, he's going to play. Like, Jordan B. Maybe, like, back in regular season. Like, 
once he comes back, I think. Maybe like a, I think there's five games left, and I think we can end the season off with five like five game win streak. So so let's let's do a record prediction for the Sixers, right? <laughs> so who do you got, 76ers or Raptors? I, I wanna say I wanna say Sixers all day. Yeah, okay. this is all day. We should be able to beat them. I think if we don't beat gonna, them, bro, we're, we're in get, trouble. We're gonna get forty wins, right? Right there's forty wins. Yeah. And then the Thunder. I don't know. And B might no, come that's back. An L. That's an I L. think because MB's not gonna be warming up. And in the heat, that's an I L, bro. <laughs> I love my Sixers, man. That's an L. I'm sorry. You think they're, they're gonna L. lose to the Heat? Um. That that could go either way. If Joel and B's back, he should be back, right? Yeah, he should. Yeah, he should. I think we could win, but as you know, it's up to it's it's up to the Sixers. You gotta go take it. I think it, I think they're know, gonna win. They should they win. Should. We, should. Should, we, we, we beat we them without Embiid. Yeah, we should definitely win. So but that's you know, Jimmy uh, forty-one and, wins, right? That's forty-one yeah. wins, and then the Grizzlies were probably gonna have Embiid. We're gonna win against them. Spurs, we're gonna win against them with Embiid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. with Joel Embiid. Yeah, because we got Joel Embiid now. At this point, we should win yeah. all the games. Honestly, forty-three. That's forty-three wins, right? Right. And then Pistons will destroy them. Forty-four. Magic, yeah, I enough. think we'll beat them. Forty-five. And we're then beating Nets them too. Beat them. And we're beating the Nets. That's forty-six wins. So forty-six. All right. That, well, that's interesting. All right. So the standings. Forty-six wins. That's gonna put us if if you if what you're saying happens, AJ, that yeah. means we will be possibly between the fifth and seventh seed. I don't think we're gonna yeah. catch the Cavs. I think they're gonna to win too many games. They're 44 now. Or are they are they 45 now? Because they just won. They might be 45. I didn't update. Oh no, this is bad though, because the Heat did beat the Trailblazers, so we're two games back from them. Right, that's what I'm saying, bro. So they're 40 and 33. We're 39 and 35. Let's see. Let's predict the Heat one and then see what happens. The Heat, yeah, the Heat. So they're going to play the Ooh, Wizards. Hey, 142 to 82, the Heat. Yeah. What the freak? That's a 60. All right, so the Heat, they got the Wizards. That's a dub. Yeah. Knicks, the Knicks, no. that could be a loss. Sixers, the Sixers, that's a loss. That's a loss. So that's Raptors, 41. Rockets. What you think? Ooh. Win? Mm, that's a tough I think one. that's a win. I think that's a win. I don't know. I, okay, think that, so, I don't know. It's a way though. It's against. It's it's because the Rockets are hot right now. All right, so we're gonna take. We're gonna say that's a loss. Then. We're gonna say that's a loss. No, 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 I think we're being biased. Though. <laughs> we want them to lose. I, I, I honestly, I think they're gonna beat the Rockets, even though the Rockets are at home. The Pacers are so that's forty-two wins, right? The Pacers yeah. would be um that's a loss. Yeah, that's I'm a loss. I'm hoping. If okay, the that's... Pacers are healthy, that's I think they're they, they the got Hawks them. they're gonna win. That's 43 win that. wins. Mavericks they're gonna oh. lose, I think. You think I don't I, I think the Mavericks are the most one of the most overrated teams in the NBA, bro. They got two stars, yeah. one superstar, two superstars. They're really they're not good defensively. They suck. They they're not good at all. I know. I, I still think the Heat. They're they're, they're like a question mark. They, they either a win or I think lose they can beat the Mavs, back. man. I think they got the Mavs at home. The Heat I, are like really inconsistent. So I, I but I it, think they it can got, go either way. That's a 50-50 game right there. I think. So Mavericks. I hope they lose. So let's say they lose. <laughs> they, all right. So if they lose and they win the next two games against the Raptors, they would have forty-five, and we'd have forty-six. So yeah, it would be above them. Oh my gosh, bro. This is this is you, crazy. You want to check the Pacers? Pacers. I'm nervous about looking at the Pacers stuff. I, I, I'm nervous about the Pacers, man, because they just Yeah, I, I don't think we're gonna make it out of the play, bro. We're not gonna make it out of the play. You don't think so? Because look, the Pacers will beat the Nets. They'll they'll have 43, they'll beat the Nets again, 44. Yeah, they got the then thunder. The thunder. They, that might be a L, but they might win because they are at home. I don't think they're yeah. gonna beat the thunder. No, you don't think so? All right, that's an 44, L. Four, and then that's they're gonna beat the Heat. That's forty five. Forty five. They're gonna beat the Raptors. the Raptors. That's forty six. Cavs. Yeah. Maybe. 
Yeah, they're going. They're 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 going to be ahead of us because yeah. because the Hawks suck. Hopefully, you know hopefully I mean? they lose to the Nets or something, and then they lose to the Hawks or something. Because the Hawks they they beat the Cel- Celtics without Trey Young twice. But honestly, who could really beat us in the play-in though? Like, really think about it. I know it's just a one-game thing, but like, if we who can really beat us? With right? a with a Joel Embiid, like with Joel Embiid, yeah. Let's say who... like worst case scenario, right? You lose to the Heat, right? Mm-hmm. Then uh, you play the winner of the Bulls and Hawks for the playoffs. So I yeah, we're gonna win against anyone, yeah, right. With right. Embiid. So worst yeah, we'll case talk. scenario, Hawks I think talk. we're the eighth seed and we play the Celtics. Oh my gosh! What do you think about that? I actually like that. I like that method. I would feel confident about that. <laughs> you gonna shock the world, huh? We gonna shock the world, yeah, man. Yeah, I have us winning yeah. in six. Then. We gonna shock the world, man. We gonna we gonna win. We gonna beat the first seed. That hasn't happened since when? When's the last time that happened? Um, was it the Mavericks last that? The, no, last year it happened last year. Who? The Heat beat the Bucks. Oh yeah, but but you know why though? Giannis was hurt. No, but yeah, he was Giannis only was hurt, hurt for uh. So you only won in, like he was only hurt for two games, right? So when when he came back, the Heat were up two one, and they still lo- lost uh two games in a row with Giannis. Yeah, man, but he wasn't. He wasn't. He wasn't right. Nah, there's no I, I, I do. I don't take though. nothing there's from no the excuses Heat. Excuses for losing in the eight seed, though. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I don't. I, I don't. It, yeah, the Heat. I mean, they deserved it. They got to the Eastern Conference Final. I mean, not the. They got to the finals. My bad. They got to the NBA Finals. So I can't even hate on what they did. But it just sounds like it's like why can't we get lucky like that? Like I want to get lucky like that. So it's about damn. Excuse my language. It's about time. That we do that, like it's about time that we're an eighth seed. We 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 upset the first seed. Yeah, we dominate and like I don't care that they got Przingis. I don't care that they got Drew Holiday. I don't care that they got Jason Tatum. I don't care that they got Jalen Brown. I don't care. Their coaching is suspect. I don't believe in their coaching. I feel like we're going to destroy them. They're too I feel like Nick gonna... and they're too arrogant. Too. Right. They shoot too many threes, and if they live and die by the three, so we're going to see what they do. So yeah. we, we'll see what happens. AJ, hey, hey, I'm I'm optimistic, man. Hey, I think we got so, this, man. So if we beat the Celtics, right? Mm-hmm. Then we would go against wait, hold on. We'll go against the either the Knicks or the Cavs, whoever's the four seed. I think we can if we beat the Celtics, we can beat the Cavs, right? Or the Knicks, I think. Right, 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 Knicks right. Knicks are tough though. Knicks are not an easy team. But I think you know, you know what's the worst part about the Knicks? You know what's Which, the um what's the bad uh, thing about the Knicks? They have Julius Randle, and he does not perform in the playoffs. Man, he's up and down. You're right. You're right. He's yeah. up and down. And that, yeah. No, so his playoff career has been like terrible. Actually, that's why they lost to the Heat last year in the second round. Yeah, the Knicks, man. But the thing about the Knicks, they're a they tough matchup, man. Like, yeah, I is. just feel like, I just feel like. I just feel like they're um, – I think that uh, OG Anobi yeah, was like, such a big pickup. I really wish the Sixers went and got him. I really it's do. It's okay. I think I think we would still beat the Knicks then, right? If we beat the Celtics, we'll beat the Knicks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, oh, I feel okay. like, honestly, I feel like we can beat anybody. Shout out to Zoe. Shout out to Ingram. Shout out to everybody that's in the, in the building right now. So, I honestly think we can beat anybody. If it's like a first-round matchup, right, like Bucks versus Heat, right? Mm-hmm. Who who you got winning that though? That's interesting too. I got the Heat winning. You know what's crazy? I got Bam. I got Bam. I got Jimmy Butler. I got Tyler Hero. I got I got Terry Rozier. That was a good pickup that they got yeah. late in the, before no, the but trade I feel deadline. Like, the Heat, like there's got to be one season where they're not good, right? Like this is unfair. Nah, but to knock out the Bucks for us, just knock them out for us. This just is just out. unfair though. <laughs> so if it's like, then it would be against. We'll go against either the. Uh, Heat or the Knicks, right? In the conference finals or the Cavs. right, we can beat any of them. I think we can make the finals. You think so? I think but so too. I don't know. Like, I think we gotta, we, we gotta take, 
we we gotta let's just take care of business what we got in front of us. I feel like we, when we get to the playoffs, I feel like we can beat anybody with with Joel and B. That's just my game. honest opinion. Take it game by game, man. Yeah, but we gotta we yeah. gotta first we gotta see when Joel and B is officially coming back. My boy Ingram said he's coming back Sunday. I hope you're right. Cause we need no, him. No, in I don't though. think he's coming back Sunday. Yeah, I don't know what I don't know where my bull getting that from. He might have some exclusive information. You know what I mean? But I I, I don't know. I I'll, I'll be. Ha I hope he's right. Yeah. I, I don't know. I I looked it up. I, I don't see come nothing. Back but... the Thunder, and then we can get our win streak, and then maybe we we'll we have the chance of being the number seven seed, right? But you know what's crazy? Like I like people say all this stuff about Joel and B, but man, like. You see all these close games that we're losing. We wouldn't; these games would not be close with Joel and B. These these games would be literally we will win by at least ten on most of these games that we lost by like a couple of points. Like we will win these games, bro. We would like, be like close to the Celtics. I think we would we'll be, be like, like a we'll be the we'll be the second or third seed probably. We would be a fifty. No, we would be the second seed because second Bucks, seed. Yeah, I can see that too. Because the yeah. Bucks only have forty six wins, I feel like we would have fifty wins with this. Right. Because we were hot, man. Like and we could have won eleven of those. Definitely, we could have won eleven more games with him, right? If we had him. I, I feel like this is one. Of this yeah. this season can be history in the making. Just think about the storylines that if we could somehow get a healthy Joel and B back, right? We yeah. get we get in the play on. We go against the Celtics. We beat out the number one seed. We get to the Eastern Conference Finals. Then we get to the finals, and then we win it. Joel and B coming off a of meniscus tear, got surgery. Hilled, came back. Can't nobody question his greatness after this. If we could somehow do, pull this off this season, I better not hear no type of nothing against Joel and B, bro. But, and but just for him even, to come back anyway is it's just the the sign of how bad he loves this team. He loves this team. He loves yeah. playing for the Sixers. Because most people be like, oh, I just like say for instance, if it was Leonard, I'm not trying to come at Leonard, but if it was Leonard, do you think he will come back this season? No, he would not. Heck no. Heck no, bro. Mm -hmm. Joel Embiid is coming back, bro. It's yeah, just he is. so it's, it's just out. he's hundred percent coming back before the mm -hmm. playing or the playoffs. Yeah, like, and like I said, like and I was trying to tell people like I, I like a like a week ago or or a few weeks ago, I said, don't nobody want the Sixers in the first round. If if we're the eighth seed, I do not think the Celtics want to play us in the first round. I don't think yeah. no. If we're the seventh seed, I don't think the Bucks want to play us. It, 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 nobody wants to play us in the first round, especially no. with you. Like nobody, I don't care. You're, you're they're the lying West. if they say they want it. They don't want yeah. us. No, yeah, they're lying. We're if an they eighth seed. Come back, yeah. But listen to this though, AJ. We're an eighth seed, but we're not really an eighth seed with Joel and B. So with Joel and B, we're Joel really a second seed. seed. Right, so you're really going against a second seed if Joel Embiid is what he, you know, I don't think he's going to be the 35 point a game. Shout out to Charles. I don't think he's going to be that, but if he's anywhere close to that, you're going against a second seed in the eighth spot. Just that that's what's scary about, it. and that's why I don't think these people want that smoke. And I'm excited about it. Get your popcorn ready. Let's go, Sixers, man. Yeah. Wait, so what's the red? What's the Sixers' record without Joel Embiid? Because I'm just wondering, like. Cause, dude, the Bucks only have. Do you want, do you want to know that? Wins. The Bucks only have forty six wins, so I, I, I believe that like we could actually like we could have been the two seed. Mm. Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course, yeah. Yeah, so uh, I'm looking at it right now. Um. Oh crap! No, that's with Joel and B. Without Joel and B, I'm looking for. Hold up. It says with? 13 and 27. Oh, that's... I don't know how accurate that is. So 13 and 27. Uh, so oh, I think gosh, we late. probably would have been like, like more like how how much is 13 and 27? We probably would have been like 30 and 10 instead of that, or 28 right. and 12, something like that. So if we did have the two seed, right? Yeah, mm, dude, we would have dominated. They don't want that. I feel like yeah. sensors need to know how to. Yeah, we need to know. We need to learn how to close out games. 
yeah. is a regroup and come back stronger. I feel you, Charles, on that. Yeah, I think I think Nick Nurse is gonna have like a practice yep, where I agree where the Sixers um like a tough practice where the Sixers like come back and play very well against the Raptors. Hopefully. We need to. I want to see a dominant. I see. You know what I want to see, AJ. And we haven't seen this in a in a in a while. Honestly, is a beatdown. I want to see a beatdown. Yeah. I'm tired you of these. Like I mean, it. I like close games, but like, I want to see a beatdown, man. Yeah. For once, for once, I, I want to be like. There's no question. The Sixers are going to win this game in the fourth quarter. We up by twenty. We up by twenty five points in the fourth quarter. That's what I want to see. I, these close games, I love them. It's entertaining, but right now I don't even want to see it at this point because I want us to win. And if it's a close game, there's a chance we can lose. So right now we need to win every game possible. Yeah. So I honestly just want to see a beat down for once. And hopefully it's against the Raptors. But um, I am going to get off AJ. I appreciate yeah. you vibing with your boy. And um, I will against the Raptors. I believe that's on Sunday, right? Yeah. Sunday. Let me just. Yeah, so Sunday against the Raptors at six o'clock. I gotta see what time is the what when is the Philly? The Phillies play today and they play tomorrow. I forgot the Wait, Phillies. So schedule. is it six six o'clock Eastern? Uh I believe so, yeah. Yeah, okay. Then I can so it's gonna be at three o'clock Oh yeah, I forgot. You're in the you're in the West Coast, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you got a three. Oh my gosh, bro. And that's what be sucking at like at the um like those late o'clock West Coast games, like against the Lakers and the, the yeah. Phoenix Suns and all them, the games be starting at 10 o'clock or 10 30. I'm like, goodness gracious, the time that the game ends is gonna be like the next day. I'm like, yeah. they don't I don't know if they take that into account or I don't know. They probably just like, well, it's seven o'clock over here, so we want to deal with it. <laughs> so yeah. But I'm gonna right, get right. off. Yeah. Shout right, out to peace. everybody in the building. The Sixers took they lost. 117 to 114. It was a tough loss, but we're going to see what happens next game against the Raptors. Must win. I say that every game, but I'm going to keep saying it until the end of the season. Must win against the Raptors Sunday at 6 o'clock. I will be live. Let's go. I'm out. Peace. Peace.